Welcome to the Amstream. Welcome to the Zyper Show this Friday evening. And how are we all doing? Welcome, everybody. No Cliff. No Cliff interrupting the proceedings tonight and having an impromptu sing-along. None of that crap tonight. Welcome, everybody. It's finally, at last, after five years of the Amstream, we're doing a tennis special tonight. <laughs> yes, new balls, please. Get your rackets at the ready. Get your whites on and all that kind of stuff. We're going to look at every single tennis game commercially released on the Amstrad tonight. And um, it's going to be interesting, I think, tonight because uh, there's a right mix of them tonight. Because there's, there's going to be the good, the bad, the ugly, the interesting. There's, um, yeah, there's a right mix because um, I think it's going to be quite interesting because... Um, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, Cliff Richard. Cliff is on the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Let me know when you're ready for a break, Sifo, and I'll drop by and entertain chat with some of my wholesome classics. <laughs> John McEnroe, Ewok. <laughs> John McEnroe Ewok has donated £4.64. You cannot be serious. <laughs> you can walk be serious. <laughs> I got the gift for that as well. <laughs> Thank you, John McEnroe. John McEnroe Ewok. Thank you for the 464 there. You cannot be serious. Um Cliff Richard 464 there. Let me know when you're ready for a break, so I'll drop by and entertain the chaps of my wholesome classics. <laughs> Exclamation mark bananas in the chat there. And let the bananas rain down. <laughs> hey, we've got another Mac and Row week. Well, we have. There's a Mac and Row for you. But thank you, who was that? John Mac and Row, you are. First one, I think, well, uh, Cliff Richard. Who's posting Cliff Richard? I'm looking on my phone at the moment. Um, that was Pete Walker. The legend that is Pete Walker. Thank you, Pete. And that's posing as Cliff Richard there. He was posing as uh, as John McEnroe. But, oh, that was Lister of Smeg. Thank you, Lister of Smeg there. Thank you very, 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 very much there. Let's get rid of bloody Cliff there. Thank you, uh, kind donators there. Thank you, Mr. Smeg. Thank, thank you, uh, Pete Walker there as well. <laughs> thank you very, very much, guys, for the uh, very kind magical 464s there. Uh, <laughs> Mac and walk. Mac and walk. Bloody hell. Uh, thank you, guys. Great to taste you there. Right, so, uh, <laughs> cheers, guys. <laughs> The Mac and Mac and Ray Dana plans all day. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Lister of Snake. Um, so where was I? Um, <laughs> lost my train of thought there. Um, yeah. So we've got some uh, in, some games that are um trying some interesting things here with different perspectives. Uh, from a coding point of view, some interesting stuff here as well. We've got Sensible Software done behind, of course, Sensible Soccer. And on to big things, of course. Trying um, a fully 3D game. 
I've got another John McEnroe. <laughs> you cannot be serious. John McEnroe has donated five pounds. <laughs> you cannot be serious. An evening filled with lovely 8-bit Amstrad tennis goodness. Whoop whoop. <laughs> I need to I need to change the text to speech voice to an American one for John McEnroe there. Thank you, um, John McEnroe there. Hang on, let me um find out who that. Thank you for the five pounds, John McEnroe. Uh, let the bananas rain down for John McEnroe there. Uh, who's posing as John McEnroe? Hang on, I'm waiting for my phone to update. Lewis Waddo. <laughs> Thank you, uh, thank you, the lovely Lewis Waddo there. Exclamation mark bananas and exclamation mark doggo in the chat for Lewis there. Thank you. You cannot be serious. <laughs> thank you, Lou. Thank you very, 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 very much for the five pounds there, Lou. I see those bananas in the chat there. Or you can do... Um, you can do exclamation mark tennis as well. Thank, thank you, Lou. Thank you very, very, very much, Lou. And I hope we are always going well with you and the arcade club in Berry, and with the missus after our operation as well. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, mate. You've been very you're such a generous, generous chap as well as always. Thank you, mate. Um, right. Uh, so yeah, we've got a fully, we've got a full 3D game coming up. We've got ones that change perspective from into the court to uh, an over-the-top view. We've got some real stinkers tonight. We've got some good ones. Um, we've got GX4000 games. We've got two tennis games of the GX4000. Um, um, we've got some budget ones. We've got some full price ones. We've got some arcade conversions. We've got a right mix of one, right mix of ones tonight. So hopefully it'll be interesting. Even if you're not um, a sports fan and stuff like that, hopefully you can appreciate them from a kind of like coding point of view when like there's a right mix of them tonight and to keep things fun and interesting we shall be um involving you guys and girls in the stream in our, in our in our own little interaction way by having you vote on the games you're going to be voting on each of the games for the purpose of uh, creating a um top 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 tier video we're going to be ranking the, i'm going to be making a video at some point in the future, ranking the, all the um, tennis games on the Amstrad. I did do an A to Z video of tennis games on my channel many, many years ago, but it got copyright claimed and muted throughout the video. So I'm going to be remaking that at some point, but this time I'm going to be ranking the tennis games from best to worst. Uh, so you guys are going to be voting on the games, and your votes are going to be the, what decides the order of them. And you're going to be voting um, on each of the games. You're going to be ranking them um, either... You're going, to, you're going to be voting them either as Wimbledon champion worthy, i.e. one of the best, or um, voting them as top seeded or highly ranked as okay to decent, or third vote will be playing with a busted racket, i.e. average to poor, or if you think they are rubbish, you're going to vote for them as ponging like an old pong, pong console. So, to have a bit of fun tonight and interaction, there you go. And of course, we'll have our usual banter and all that kind of stuff. So, hopefully it'll be an interesting stream tonight. Right, let's do our in uh, let's do our introductions. Let how long should we spend on that? Ten minutes? Oh! Anna Kornikova <laughs> has donated £1.69. Thank you! Thank you, Anna Kornikova, the 169 there. <laughs> oh, I remember her. <laughs> Hang on, let's look at the dancing sugar there for the 169 as well there. Let the bana bananas rain down for Anna Kornikova. Who's posing as Anna Kornikova there? That's Chiefy89. Hello, thank you, Chiefy89. Let's see. Bananas in the chat. I, I don't have an Anna Kornikova gift. You can have an Anna, you can have a Andy Murray celebrate in there. There you go. Thank you, uh, Chiefy89. Let's see those bananas rain down for Chiefy there. Thank you, Chiefy. Thank you very, very much for the 189 there. Cheers, dude. Thank you very, very, very much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Right, um, let's set a timer going. Let's do, let's do welcome, take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the stream. 
Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, a lot of people had the hots for Anna Kornikova back in the day, didn't they? <laughs> um, right, let's go see if I can go back to the top of the chat here. Um, we'll just have a quick greeting to everyone. All right, who first in the chat tonight? Oh, man, I think I might have missed a lot of my chats cut off at the top of the, uh, the greetings. Damn it. Uh, so if I miss anyone, I do apologize. But the first person I can see at the top of the chat at 8.55 p.m., was Mr. The legend, that is Mr. Pete Walker. Greetings again, Pete. Thank you for the dono, mate. Much appreciated. Hello, Pete. How you doing, my friend? Whoa! Oh! Oh, my God! Zypho's grass and balls, thank you as well. Wayne! Get your lawn out for the stream. <laughs> what? Wayne, you cannot be serious, mate! I've set off all the dancing sugars for this. Oh, bloody hell, Wayne! Holy crap! Wayne, thank you! Oh my god, Wayne, seriously? You cannot be serious! Wayne, thank you, mate! He says the 6128 don't get enough love. It doesn't. The actual machine. Wayne... I don't know what to say, mate. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Holy crap. Holy crap. Can the, let, we let the bananas absolutely rain down for Wayne there? Wow. Let me just turn them off because I don't want to overload the stream too much of that. But um, Wayne, uh, I was just about to come to you because we're doing the, just doing the greetings there. But like, I saw you pop in. I was like, yeah, Wayne's back. Wayne is one of my oldest friends. Uh, uh, we used to work together actually back in the day. Um, I don't Wayne in real life, but he's always been a, a proper retro gamer and uh, a lover of retro games of all systems as well. And he knows his stuff. But like, holy crap, Wayne. Man, I, I am going to owe you some beers next time I see you out and about. Holy crap, Wayne. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much, dude. And it is awesome to see you back in the chat again. <sighs> Wayne, thank you, mate. Thank you. And also, sorry, there was also um, Zypho's Grassy Balls. Thank you, whoever that was. Let me just check on my phone. That was Mrs. Zypho. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho, for the one pound as Zypho's Grassy Balls, who said, get your lawn out for the stream. That's not going to happen, babe. I love you, babe, as well. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Absolute legend. Um, Wayne, if there's anything I can do for you, dude, uh, a video one day that, or a stream, each of the stream, because you're a member, a high-tier member of the, of the AM squad as well, you let me know, mate. You let me know. Right, wait. I'm going to carry on the greetings because we're running out of time. We need to get to some games. But thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho, as well. Okay, we're going to carry on. I've now lost the top of the chat where I was doing the greetings. Because um, the win chat window is cut off. But Mr. Craig Wilson. Good evening, Mr. Craig Wilson. Welcome, Craig. I'm going to do these quite quickly now because I've got five minutes left. Craig, hello, Craig. Mr. Brian Hooper. Hello, Brian. We've got the Dreamy Artist. Hello, Dreamy Artist. How, how are you doing, Dreamy? We've got Darren T. Connor painting. Hello, Darren. How's it going, matey? AD Sneak. How are you doing, AD? Mixed doubles. Those are drinks, right? <laughs> How you doing, AD? Ahoy, Johnny boy. We've got, um, unfortunately, we have Johnny boy um, to thank for the bloody Cliff Richard picture. He sent me this earlier. Thank you, Johnny boy, or not. <laughs> uh, we've got Retro Bait here. Good evening, Retro Bait. Mike ZT. Good evening, Mike. We've got an Oxo Good. 
How you doing, Oxo? I'm ready to drink to you as always, Oxo. Lister of Smeg, hello again, mate. Chiefy, hello, Chiefy. We've got, um, uh, let's see, scroll through. Mr. Paul Henderson, Fenrir. Welcome, Fenrir. We have a, a Brazor, Brazor. I always, I like your name, because it reminds me of Grizor. Hello, Brazor. Scorcher today, absolutely, mate. 28 degrees in my office at the moment. Real OD, hello, Real OD. Good to see you again, OD. How you doing, mate? How's it feel to be the big 5 0? <laughs> again, how you doing, OD? Um, ready for the heat wave? Zypho asked Craig Wheels, and Zypho's gonna heat the beach like a bronze Adonis. No, like a beach whale blubbering about, probably, Craig. <laughs> I don't have a beach pod. Mr. Craig Harrison, Craig's bar, how you doing, mate? Lovely to have you back on Marbles last night, mate. Um, hope you had a good time there, dude. Nice to have you back on the Amstream as well. Welcome again. Wayne, I see you in the chat there saying good evening at 10 past 9. How you doing, Wayne? Thank you again, mate. Dude, you are awesome, mate. Thank you, man. Thank you very, very much. Um, again, we also have... Let's have a look. Uh, Wars of the Four Time Lord arriving in his TARDIS. Hello, matey. Welcome, welcome. Um... We've got Ginger Hippie Gaming. Hello, Ginger Hippie Gaming. Welcome, my friend. How are you? Uh, how are you doing, sir? Good to have you here again. Becoming a real regular now. Awesome, Ginger Hippie. Um, we have a CPC Game Reviews niche. Stiffy Pilchard. Oh, God, that's from... Rockstar Ain't My Hamster, isn't it? <laughs> Cliff's name in Rockstar Ain't My Hamster. Oh, the text-to-speech didn't work there. I am fucking Wimbledon. It's shed without me. I don't know why the text-to-speech refused to read that out there. Maybe it thought you were trying to circumvent a rude word there or something. Stiffy Pilchard, thank you for the 464. Oh, it was through Super Chat. Oh, Super Chat doesn't get text-to-speech, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Whoever Stiffy Pilchard is. Uh, oh, Less Than Free. Oh, Less Than Free, you've changed your name on um, YouTube to um, Stiffy Pilchard. I get you. I get Hello, Less Than Free. Um, that, oh, sorry. Yeah, text-to-speech doesn't work on Super Chat. And also, unfortunately, YouTube take a chunk of uh, Super Chats. For themselves so yeah but like anyway stiffy pilchard aka less than three welcome back thank you for the four six four there let's see those bananas in the chat before less than three aka stiffy pilchard which is cliff richard's name in um rockstar ate my hamster very good very good i like it thank you matey thank you i hope you're doing well magic night good evening magic night german 78 welcome matey and Nish from CPC Game Reviews, welcome. Paul, uh, hey hon, Puds, welcome. Uh, hey hon, how are your Puds doing, matey? As always. Um, but I've got 1 minute 27 uh, on the greetings. I better hurry up. Uh, if I miss anyone, I do apologise. Neutrino Fire, hello, Neutrino. How you doing, matey? Amasife, hello, Amasife. How's tricks, my friend? Oh, Neutrino says had surgery today, being awful. Oh, no, Neutrino. Ooh. Well, we'll try and cheer you up. Um, I hope it went well, my friend. Um, I hope it wasn't too invasive, too serious. And I hope it went well. Uh, but best wishes, mate. Rest up, and I hope it, I hope you, um, uh, I hope it's a good recovery, Neutrino. We'll try and take your mind off things tonight. Uh, right, I'm nearly caught up with everyone. Uh, Vimster, hello Vimmy, how you doing my friend? Welcome, welcome. Good to see you as always, Vimmy. Uh, oh man, my chat just re-scrolled itself. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, nearly there. Oh, Amoswife, it's your birthday. Oh, hang on a second. Amoswife, we'll cut it. Uh... It's not your birthday. Amasife, is, is it really your birthday? Hang on, you, then you said it's not. 
Hang on. Oh, 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 it's time for tennis. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, Amosife, is it really your birthday? Uh, Dave Rule, good to see you back, uh, Dave Rule. Welcome, welcome, Dave Rule. How you doing, mate? Um, Dreamy says, hi, I've been in time, but doing good. The heat is sort of bearable. Hopefully, it's cooled down a bit before sleep. I hope it bloody does too. Oh, it's dropped down to 27 degrees in my office, so it's getting there. Retron Lim, Steve, how you doing, matey? Good to see you again, mate. Are you off work this evening or uh, you, are you on a break? Welcome, Retro and Lim. Jimmy Taylor. Hello, Jimmy. And hello to Jane. She's there watching with you. How are you doing, matey? Uh, FC Denhard's in the house. Hello, FC. Um, I was thinking about it, FC Denhard. I did see Hazemaker doing the stream as well, a uh, uh, Commodore 64 stream. And I saw how fun that looked. And I was like, yeah, that's confirmed. I'm going to do it as well. I was thinking about it um, earlier as well. But seeing him and how fun that looked, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it too. Sort of confirmed, like, I'm going to do it, yeah. Um, oh, rubbish, Mrs. Zypho. Yeah, and you're not putting anything like that in our bedroom wall, no. Arnold A. Lampel, hello, Arnold. How you doing, matey? Good to see you again, Arnold. Mr. Zen Zero, good evening, Mr. Zen Zero. All right, um, nearly caught up with everyone. Welcome, welcome, uh, Zen Zero. Um... Uh, Amasive. I think we've got a way of singing. Uh, oh dear. It is your birthday. Andy H. Hello, Andy H. Welcome, Andy. How you doing, my friend? Nice to see you again. Steve Fufu and Co. Bonsoir. Salut. Welcome. Oh, you're off Retro Room. You can come and chill with us tonight. Awesome. Hmm. Welcome, welcome, uh, Retro and Lim. How long are you off for, Retro and Lim? I've got a stream coming up soon. I think uh, I'd be cool that you'd be there all stream for, actually. Uh, Gordon Blues. Hello, Gordon Blues, my fellow Amsperv. Oh, there's lots of... Oh, there's better games than Match Point, Gordon Blues. Oh, my goodness. We will get to games shortly. I promise, guys. I promise. The C64 Official Club. Has donated three pounds sixty-four. <laughs> we saw Nerdy Geeks stream in which Euro SG said some C sixty-four fans are evil. <laughs> we want to use your slow yet colourful stream to tell him and announce he has been kicked out of the C sixty-four <laughs> community. <laughs> I know who that is. That's going to be GP or Mr. Pat McNulls there. Let the bananas rain down for the C64 official club. <laughs> That's got to be GP. That's got to be GP. Thank you, uh, the Commodore 64 official club. Nerdy Geeks, you always just said C64 fans are evil. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Pat McNulls, aka GP. It was. I see it on my phone. <laughs> Hey GP, how you doing, cheeky GP? Was it that obvious? Yes. <laughs> Hi GP. Uh, Sue Legger, hello Sue Legger. Bonsoir, welcome, welcome. It is Amasype. Amasype, it is your birthday. Right, you got us really. You got me really confused. It is. The g bloody gaming Ewok is here. Arrgh. Hello, gaming Ewok. I think I know who that is. So it is Amasife's birthday. All right then. Okay. Do you know you know what that means, guys? Don't you? Okay. It's Amasife's birthday. Forty-four. Was that forty-four today? Forty-four today. Wow. Okay, guys. You know what that means. Exclamation mark birthdays in the chat. We're going to sing happy birthday to Amos Five. He's been a long time supporter of the streams. Are you ready? Exclamation mark birthday in the chat. Here we go. Oh, no, we don't want bananas. We want confetti. Alrighty, here we go. Let's all sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Amos Five. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Amasife! Exclamation mark birthdays in the chat there. Happy 44th birthday, Amasife. And thank you for choosing to spend part of it with us here tonight. And have exclamation mark clap as well. 
There we go. Happy birthday, my friends. Have you had a nice day so far, dude? Did you get anything nice for your birthday? And what are you going to do on your birthday weekend? Happy birthday, Amasai. Thank you for being part of the Amstream community. I hope you have a lovely day today. I hope you had a lovely day today so far. And I hope you have a lovely birthday weekend. Thank you, uh, Amasai. Happy birthday, my friend. And uh, we love you here in the Amstream community. <laughs> That's true, GP. That's true. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Amasai. Thank you. Thank you, guys and girls there. Get Cliff to sing it to him instead. Now, he's singing Summer Holiday. He doesn't... That bloody Wimbledon at the moment, so... Thank you, FC Denhar. Thank you there. Right, um... CDJ! Hello, CDJ. <coughs> <clears throat> no, we're not going to play Pong tonight, but there are a few games that do indeed Pong, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Welcome, CDJ. I'm back in work tomorrow. When is it? Oh, okay. No worries, Retro Lynn. Maybe then we'll do it in a couple of weeks, because I've got a new Amstrad game to check out, which I'll probably do next week then. Um, hello again, Andy H. How are you doing, Andy H? Nice to see you again, my friend. Uh, let me just clean my glasses quick. One second, guys. And then we shall get to our first game tonight. One second, guys. I'm just uh, cleaning my glasses here. I think I might just blow my nose while I'm here. Hang on. <laughs> I've got Mrs. Zypho's cold. Sorry about that. Jimmy Connors is in the chat. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy Connors. The famous American tennis player, long, uh, long retired. <laughs> You're available next Friday, week, nights, week after. Mm, okay, I'll consider it retro on Lim. I'll consider it. Okay, I'll talk to you in the week. I've Hello, terrible coughing. Um, Wayne Jordan says, I've only got 20 minutes because I promised the missus to watch a film with, uh, after, with her. Oh, okay, Wayne. How you? How have you been, Wayne? Anyway, Wayne uh, Wayne recently got himself married. Congratulations, Wayne. Exclamation mark clap in the chat for Wayne. Uh, recently a very happy, happily married man. How's married life treated you, Wayne? <laughs> um... Yeah, no worries. We better get to the first game then, because he's not had any. Uh, <laughs> he's not had. Any, he's not seen any games yet. Right, we're gonna do games in um, alphabetical order, I think, tonight. It's probably just the easiest way of doing things rather than um, uh, randomly picking them. So we have sixteen games to look at tonight, and we're gonna vote on them after each one. <laughs> exactly the same as before. Nothing's changed. I think it does. I think it changes a little bit. <laughs> Mrs. Ivor says, cleaning your glasses, what with? Your talk, why, is that why you went off camera? No, um, the boring explanation is, the material of this t-shirt, I can always clean my glasses on my t-shirt, babe. Weirdly, this material just smudges them. I've got a t-shirt hanging off the back of a chair, which is like a thicker material, and it actually cleans my glasses better. That, that's a boring explanation. All right, first... <laughs> Okay. All right. First game of the night is Adidas Championship Tiebreak from Ocean Software. And this is quite a rare game to find. And it's a big Ocean release that kind of got buried, weirdly. Um, they didn't seem to dispute this very well. Let's, let's pause the music. Uh, quite a nice loading screen here. There's a man shovel here. Greetings, man shovel. Where's the Uber box of Kleenex? 
You're obsessed with my Kleenex box, but I've got a cold at the moment, and I suffer badly from hay fever. <laughs> There's nothing dodgy about it. You gave up a marriage when I discovered Zypho. And Novabug. And Mame Haze. And Hunk Shovel. And... Yeah, oh, and the rest. OJBs! Good evening, OJBs. How you doing, mate? You just missed a birthday sing-along, Man Shovel. You, your moment of glory with your birthday song. Man Shovel's made a, a birthday tune in Arcos Tracker for the Amstrad. Will you be changing ends later? I might be needing new balls later, Craig. Mr. Matt Corbin! Matt, good to see you again, Matt. How you doing, matey? Welcome, mate. How's tricks? Um... Uh, well, uh, well, how am I supposed to clap Wayne for choosing to be nagged? A man needs help. He needs a sexy Zypho turning. <laughs> Good lord, GP. <laughs> and the gaming he walk is back in the chat. Bloody hell. Now, uh, Retro Lim, uh, passing shots will be coming up. Don't you worry. Try, uh, try say passing shots. And in the fr French policeman's voice from Hello, Hello. <laughs> Hello again, Jimmy Connors. <laughs> Good lord. Right, uh, passing shot. I'll shake the box off for this if you want, boys and girls. Now, like, um, oh, hang on, why did I put passing shot in? Seep some power. I want Adidas Championship tiebreak. Now, Ocean weirdly got a license from Adidas to do two games. They did Adidas Championship, like, football, and they also did this game. And, um, like, both this one and the football game is really, really rare and hard to find. I can never find this in any shops back in the day. And it's really, really hard to find on Blooming eBay. So, for some reason, the distribution for this got really scuffed by Ocean. And they never really pushed it much. Um, in terms of advertising, like, um, you can see this is, they, they only got the French version scans. Uh, Spanish version scan, Spanish version, Spanish version. Um, no UK box art scans on CPC Power. Um, yeah, no, I've got to find adverts, uh, just the adverts for the 16-bit uh, versions. Oh, there you go, 8-bit versions there. Yeah, there's the, foot, there's the football one. So I don't know what Ocean were playing at in the summer of 1990. They didn't really push this one, and the distribution of this was really, really, really poor. So I don't know what happened to this one, really. So not many people uh, ended, up, ended up with copies of this one. That did look a bit like Boris Beckett, did you reckon? Never heard of this game. Mmm. Right, press fire. Oh, that's nice. Fade out on the music. Now, these Adidas games from Ocean were, were like really nicely presented from what I remember. Uh, graphics by Probe Software. Uh, by uh, so Tiebreak by Starbright Software. Who's heard of Starbright? I've never heard of them before. Version by Probe. Uh, Probe by ARL. Graphics by Probe. Music by Sound Images. Tournament or practice. Let's go straight into a tournament. That's really nicely presented so far. Uh, single or double? Ooh, can you have doubles tournaments? Okay. Boris Becker's Fraud Simulator. Hello, David Watkins. How you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, maybe didn't have a UK release. It did have a UK release. Just like the distribution of it was like really scuffed or something. Uh, just best of three. Uh. Different courts you can have. Let's have grass. Uh, player one, computer, joystick. Choose your racket. Wow. Uh, light, me, I don't know. Just go for that one. Team one versus Igor Pricks. Okay. Um, no music or sound. 
There's going to be an overhead tennis, uh, tennis simulator. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Right, let's just pause it there a second. I'll just put some music on in the background. I'm going to put the music on a little bit quieter there. Hmm. Okay, so it's an overhead Timmy simulator. Okay. Um, my, my YouTube is in Mo Zero resolution now. Oh, dear, Mike. Mike, have we got any problems with the stream? I'm not doing any drop frames or anything like that, guys. So I think, uh, hmm. Uh, not, not my end, Mike, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Um... But Ocean, sometimes only dispute games that are popular in French, Spanish markets. They probably hammer the Sp Spanish and French market maybe more than the UK for this one. I don't know. It would be strange for them to do that. Um, Several Coffee says that Vindaloo tonight was surely the resulting passing shots. <laughs> Oh dear, terrible coughing. I don't envy being your, your, your missus tonight then. Did you play his iPhone? No, I didn't get it in time or didn't see it, man shovel. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Never mind. How, how's tricks, Matt Corbin? Anyway, good to see you again, mate. Um, Bimster says, Corn sang all day. I dream about tennis. Oh, I remember that Adidas song. That was an old favourite of me and Mrs. Zyphos back in the day when we used to go to new metal clubs when we were at uni. <laughs> Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> And I go a few of these games earlier, says Fenrir. So a real mix of tennis games on the amateur. This one I remember getting annoyed trying to remove my player before realising you can't. Oh! Oh, right! Yes, this one. The computer controls the movement of your player. All you do is control the racket swing. So the computer moves your player for you. Right. Oh, okay. So... Oh, it's me serving. Yeah, quit flapping you forget play. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to read chat as well. Sorry, people. People get uh, say, "Oh, you don't look at chat enough." As I. So I'm the player at the top, and I'm serving. Thirty love. All right. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. Doesn't mean that it does feel a bit limited then. If you can't control the movement of your player. Hmm. Yeah, Craig. I mean, it moves fairly smoothly. Oh! I don't know. Oh, that. Oh, the. Oh, the computer won that. It's quite nicely presented. Shall we get married at the Norbrick at Play Blackpool? Are you serious, Mrs. I? Oh. No, Stiffy Pilchard. No. No, if I can get used to this. Over ten is just a bad idea, though. Surely, hmm. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Depends how much of the court you can see. I think we'll see uh, tennis games where. The perspective is really bad and a problem. And overhead would be always good. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Starting to get a hang of this a little bit. Ass. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay. I'm starting to like it a little bit more. It's not bad graphically speaking, it says uh, dreamy. Definitely, you can't control the movement, but the stick will control your shot type, so you've got a fair amount of options as to where you can hit the ball, as far as I can remember. Let's try a lob shot. Okay. Pass the shots. <laughs> you can't see where the opponent is when you hit a shot. That can't be a good thing. That is true. Hmm. 
I could do a lob. Okay. Oh no. This is 128k overscan game will be good. Bit of a lob. I could do a lob by pulling back on the joystick. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's a range of shots. Okay. Oh! Do you know what? This kind of reminds me of playing like Konami's ping pong in a way. This is more like Konami's ping pong. If anyone's played Konami's ping pong, it's like that almost. If you think of it in terms of like that, it sort of more makes sense. And actually, I'm starting to have a bit of fun with this. In terms of being a, like how tennessee it is, it's not that tennessee because you want to kind of like be in control of like your player movement and being able to have a range of different shots available. So for me, a good tennis game has it has to have like being able to be able to position your player on the court as like one like fifty percent of the game, and the other fifty percent would have to be. Have a be able to have a, a variety of shots, being able to like be able to do drop shots, lobs, like smashing it across the court, tops, you know, and all that. Have a variety of control. So having a variety of control over your shots and a, and a, and control over your player, right? And also being able to do a variety of serves. The so three main criteria. So it's got two thirds of it. But I'm missing a, an important one third. So, yeah. It's got two thirds, but not one third. If you know what I mean. I'm not... I don't think this is too bad. I don't think this is too bad. But it's missing one very important third that makes a good tennis game. If you know what I mean. Um, did I see Moosa pop in the chat? Uh... I thought I saw Moosa's name a minute ago, and I've got to say hello. Moosa, did you pop in the chat? If you did, say hello again, Moosa. Um, Alright, one more quick go here. It's a little bit juddery moving around, but it's, it's not too bad. I don't mind the overhead perspective, but you don't see enough. I think the overhead perspective is fine... If you can see more of the, um, I was going to say pitch. It's not the pitch, is it? <laughs> yeah. And the computer just spooned it out there. Uh, I think the computer's put up a bit of a challenge as well. A good tennis game as you sing in between shots, does it now? And I think it, uh, the, the strength of shot is like how long you hold your tennis racket out before you swing it. So you, less control if you um, hold it and then release too quickly. So it's about how long you hold your direction for before releasing it. See that? I like this. I actually quite like this. Obviously, you're not playing it for yourself, so you're going to have to take my word for it. I'm going to do a drop shot. Oh, no, sorry. I lob. But I can do a drop shot here. Watch. Okay. I'm going to do a drop shot here again. And then I'm going to... Yay! You see? A variety of shots. And I put him off there. I quite like this. It's got its faults. It's got its faults. I'm going to set up a poll. So, guys, you can now... We're going to go and vote on this one. Now, remember, guys, um, this is for the purposes 
We're going to be ranking tennis games, okay? And we're going to make a video eventually of... Um, hang on, oh. We're going to be making a video eventually for the channel of... Um, like, uh, of, of the tennis games on the Amstrad, like... And I'm going to be ranking them from best to worst, okay? So you guys uh, are going to be voting, and your votes will uh, uh, will basically count because I get a percentage on each of the votes of the options here. So this will help me rank them in order. So you guys are going to be uh, creating this video, so your input is important here, okay? So you're going to be uh, voting them in order. Yeah, I've set up the poll now. So the poll, uh, the voting poll is open. So. Wimbledon championship champion worthy is like the like could be what is basically the top vote poll there top of the yeah top top one there means it's one of the best tennis games highly ranked is like you know good one of the better tennis games but not one of the best claim of a busted racket is basically average to poor and ponging like an old pong console is rubbish those are your poll options okay so get voting if you want you guys and girls are helping shaping and creating that video so there we go um oh no i've just spooned it out there but nova book will make an excellent bridesmaid we're talking about oh my goodness are we talking about my wedding there uh imagine what thinks the graphics are pretty on this which tennis tournament never closes the open oh craig craig with the dad jokes there it just needs an indicator to show the other player when scroll down, says Vimster. Like a little like blob like at the bottom of the screen that moves left and right, like a like an arrow. That could work. That could work, yeah. Um hmm, that could work, yeah. Uh David Watkins says it's not bad actually, yeah. Uh this is a two player mode as well. Oh, yeah, there was a doubles thing, wasn't there? Let's have a look at the doubles quickly. I'll load this up again. Hang on, let me put this on, like, stupidly fast speed. Right, okay. Get back to 100%. Grass, human, joystick. Do Utah. Let's try the doubles. Wow! So you can have two players, guys, as well. So there's gonna have two players on this, and you can have doubles. Out. Let's all marry Zypho. <laughs> I can serve. Oh, no. Oh, it's out. Okay. You can have doubles in this game as well. That's actually quite cool. There's a lot of features in this, then. Most people are voting for it being highly ranked, though. Okay. Possibly one of the better. Um, oh, you can control both of the uh, doubles. Both of your... Both players. Okay. Oh, this is fun. So I, I'm controlling both of my uh, tea baits at the top there. Okay. I like this. I like this. I reckon this might have been Wimbledon champion uh, worthy. I think this is one of the maybe one of the better tennis games. But you on the chat are deciding. How many votes have we got? 31 votes there. Uh, it's going to be a long queue. Oh my goodness. What? Nobody wants to marry me. Good lord. It's pretty, but that camera constantly moving is nauseating. Much rather get a whole view of the call. I think that's what's pe making people think it's not one of the better ones. Maybe I'm getting a little bit overexcited. I think this is not bad though. But maybe I know what's coming up. There's going to be a load of tosh. 
Paul Fenris says, still a fun game, this one. But uh, uh, yeah, tennis games are made or broken by how they handle actually playing tennis. It's pretty much 100% about the gameplay of these ones. I think maybe not being able to control your player is a, is a problem. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. I think, chat, I think you're right. I think you're right. At the moment, the votes there have highly ranked. I think you're right there, guys. 47% on highly ranked. Some people thought it was Pong in like an old Pong console. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, the screen scroll is too much sci-fi. Otherwise, it'd be a good game. I'm well impressed. It's Reap Banging, says Jimmy Connors. <laughs> Andy A says it's a, it's a solid game. The scroll is anything that lets it down. A number of options is good. I think that's quite a fun game, guys. But yeah, it's up there as, as a decent game. It's not one. It's not one of the best, though. You're probably right. You're probably right. Let's end the poll there, and we'll move on to the next game. I feel like we've probably exhausted that one. That's a good start. That's a good start, I think. I think that's a good start. So we'll have a little celebration there. I think that's a good start for the tennis games tonight. I'm making a note there of the poll. Well done. Oh, oh, oh dear. We're going to have to move on to an Amsoft tennis game next. Oh dear, chat. Oh dear. All right, it's time for Amsoft Tennis with Centre Court. Oh dear. Centre Court. Stiffy Pilchard. No, 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 no. Centre court from Amsoft. Oh no, it's from Epic Soft. Guys and girls, you know who Epic Soft are. What game did Epic Soft make? <clears throat> Answers in the chat. Go on. Some of you will know. What game did Epic Soft make? I've got it ready here. What game did Epic Soft make? I'll show it. Come on, chat. Who's going to be first to get it? Oh, come on. You, Pete Walker, got it. Yes. From the author of Bridget. You see that? In the... I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I know it's flipped in the camera there. By Epic Soft. At the bottom there. I know it's flipped to the camera. By like Epic Soft. <laughs> God. Just pret I'm just pretending. I just down this can. I'm pretending this is um, a really, really strong scrumpy cider because I'll need it. <laughs> oh. Right, <laughs> centre court, centre court. Let me show you the box art. Hang on, right, so this is the box art for it. There you go. Actually, that's not a bad box art for Amsoft, actually. Nice, colourful, does the job. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Spain, they just called it tennis. Spanish release. German release. Yeah. There you go. Right. Okay. F to, uh, F to play with a friend. N to play with the computer. Arnold. Off a demo with Arnold versus Roland. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I like how they've gone to the trouble of having a little animated, like, screen here. That's that's not too bad. This gives me the tennis elbow, says the game in Ewok. Right. Okay, right. Uh, M to play with the computer. J for joystick. Your name. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't put my name in. All oh, right, okay. Never mind. Default system beeps there. Amazing. Um, 
I have a feeling the demo is going to be more enjoyable. <laughs> Dipo, same programmer, also with the Arabic name, or is it someone else? Yeah, uh, what's his name? Um, I missed the name there. Um, that, it's like an Egypt Soft, isn't it? it could, yeah, he goes in the name of uh, Epic Soft, and then there's like Egypt Soft as well. Um, Say Sayed L. Ebersom or something like that, wasn't it? Uh, I, forgot, I forgot his name. What's his name? Syed A. Abul, uh, Abul Hassan. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder what happened to him. I'd love to get him on for an interview one day. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool? I bet he has no idea what a legend he's become. Anyway. Oh, I'm on the left-hand side. The computer is serving. Net first service. So I'm the guy on the left there. Oh my days. <laughs> oh, I returned it. So you press fire button to move your racket back. And then fire button to move it forward again. Oh, this is not. Alright, I fit it out. It's not too, not actually too bad. I mean, it's not great. Uh, no, no, you don't seem to have much control over it. But from the author of Bridget, it's it's kind, it, it's it's not awful. You just gotta time it right if you swing. But it's Stephanie here. Hello, Stephanie. How you doing, Stephanie? We're having a little tennis special tonight, seeing as it's Wimbledon. Oh, oh. it's gonna hit the net, isn't it? You got the umpire. Ra you see the umpire raise his hand there. That's, not, that's a little nice little touch. Give it credit there. I think I'd be nice to the author of Bridget. Oh no. Us. He swapped sides. Oh, I'm serving. Oh, will my serve go in? It did. I knocked. A, I got a serve in. Oh, oh. Oh, I don't need to hit the fire button. I just need to stand there. Oh, look at that. I knocked it past him. Hey! I got... Yeah! Do you know what? This I don't think this is actually too bad. For Am... One, it's Amsoft. This is what year? This is 1984. It's actually playable. You could, yeah, look. Okay, okay. Reality. It's not great. It's not amazing. But it's not terrible. It's playable. It moves around alright. You can sort of have a bit of a game of tennis here. It's not, you know, it's not great. But it kind of works. And let's respect that. And I think, I think we've set the bar really, really low. Because before that, we've had this. And the bar is set quite low. But it kind of works. It's not amazing. But there was a lot of crap from Amsoft. Uh, uh, there was a lot of terrible sports games from Amsoft. Um, Glen Hoddle. That is ten times worse than this. Amsoccer. Uh, that is absolutely terrible. Um, and this is miles better than both those games. Oh, oh I, I worked returning there. I, I got I somehow managed to return it there. Ah! <laughs> uh, um. I 
I could, if I had this back in the day, I might have ended up playing this for a while. I don't know. This has been one of the first tennis games on the Amstrad. I think, it, I think this might have been like one of the very, very first tennis games on the Amstrad. And it sort of works. Oh, arse. It's not brilliant. But it's okay. This was an animal you'd put it down. Let's see what the... Uh... Oh, hang on. Let me just pause it there. What's the chat saying then? It's a bit slow. Yeah, it's very slow. It's a very slow. Um... <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Bridget is better than this. No, definitely not. Definitely not, Darren. I'd say definitely not. Um, I'm very well, thanks. Feeling a lot better now. Well, you're not feeling very well recently, Stephanie. Um, I hope you. I hope you're not being too bad, uh, Stephanie. Good to see you again, though. Uh, what's been going on with you, Stephanie? Noble the Savage, welcome to the stream, Noble. Uh, Zidulan, hello Zidulan. Thank you so much again for last night, Zidulan. Legend you. Noble the Savage is the only media ever to be sponsored by Coke and Pepsi. What, uh... Oh yes, sorry, the advertising boards in the background. Pepsi Cola and Coke. Aless <laughs> Dunlopia. Well spotted. Well spotted there, Noble the Savage. I just, I just, I didn't spot the advertising boards there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, is it, if this was an animal, you'd put it down. I, I, I'm going to tell you this now. I, I remember a couple of the tennis games. There are far worse tennis games than this coming up tonight, boys and girls. There are far worse tennis games coming up. Zypho is bait. People think I'm smoking something weird tonight, if I'm liking this. I would say I like this one. I would say for Amsoft and Epicsoft, this is all right. For a first tennis game, it's okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to put a poll up for this one. Super Zypho, you can run faster than the ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the ball is really slow. Uh, playing left to right is not good. Up and down, better. It's confusing. Yeah. Problem is, I think the, the, the Amstrad screen is better. It's slightly wider than it is taller. So you fit more of a tennis um, court on a white on a width, wouldn't you? Than it? Yeah. That's the only thing. Welcome back, Retro on Limb. Does a ball have a brick end in it? <laughs> I know. You were in hospital. Oh no, Stephanie. Um, hope was, oh, yeah, I know you were the other week, but I, I, did you have to go back again? That sucks. I hope you're okay though. Um, right, we'll put a poll up for this one. All right. All right, centre court. So you guys, boys and girls, can get voting now for this one. All right, we'll put uh, highly ranked. Name of a busted racket. I think this is probably going to get the third choice here, mostly. Playing with a busted racket. Ponging like an old Pong console is probably... Probably going to get a few fair few votes. But I'd say this is average to poor. So, there you go. Get voting if you want, guys. Honestly, it's alright. But... I tell you this now, there are far worse tennis games coming up, like, in a bit. <laughs> oh, computer keeps it in the net here. Well, for an early effort, not bad. Not bad. Oh, no, you didn't go to hospital again, but I'm good now. Oh, okay. Glad to hear, glad to hear. It looks better than you remember it, Magic Knight. Oh, no! I mean, it is hard. Like, you think, like, you're, you're hitting the ball like you hit it last time. 
but this time it just goes smack into the ground rather than sailing over the net. So, yeah, it's a bit... Yeah, you're not going to spend more than uh, 15, 20 minutes playing on this one. If this is all you had back in 1984, you would have probably invested a, a lot more time in it. But now in 2022, you're not. <laughs> oh, that went over the net. That's cool. No! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, 57% uh, playing with a busted racket. Yeah. I think I've convinced a few of you, aren't I? Have I lobbed him at the net? If the Ari, I've figured something out. If the ball is high in the air, you have to swing your racket. If it's low down, you can literally just walk into the ball and it will automatically um, bounce off your racket. Or something. Oh! There you go. It is one of the slowest tennis games that I've ever played. We're only on, what's this? This is the third game, isn't it? There we go. 13% voted this a classic. Oh my goodness. Are people troll voting? Please don't. <laughs> Wimbledon champion worthy. Oh my god. Right, okay, these people must be shot. Did gamers, uh, FC, did gamers get paid if they advertise in Pepsi Dunlop in those days? <laughs> no. I think, um, it's interesting, like, if I think if Lord Sugar had seen that, he would have, like, got the, he, he probably would have shouted that the programmer to remove it. He could get in trouble for it. All right, let's end the poll there, then. We'll move on to the next game. Hello, Sneaky Maud. <laughs> How you doing, Maud? Welcome, my friend. How are you? There you go. That was centre court. I'll make a note of the, of the results there. Okay. Right, we're going to move on to quite a rare game. And we're going to move on to a Spanish game now. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Emilio Sanchez Vicario Grand Slam. Uh, color or verde? Color. Now, I guess uh, Emilio Sanchez Vicario must have been a famous uh, Spanish tennis player. Do you have anyone from Spain in the chat tonight? Anyone from Spain in the chat tonight? Say hola and tell us more about Emilio Sanchez Vicario. Yes, that was the second game we just had, uh, Craig. Yeah. Um... Oh, uh, hopefully, we, do we have to set controls here? Uh, oh, yeah, we need joystick, uh, menu principle, J for game. Oh, um, uh, okay. P for party day. That must be, but that must be practice, wasn't it? C for campeonato. That must be campaign. Hola, si, senor. <laughs> uh, oh, Stephanie says, I'm volunteering again at Nottingham Castle. I missed it so much on Sunday the Commonwealth Games torture video. So excited. Awesome, Stephanie. I'm hopefully going to take her. I hopefully be taking my little boy down to Nottingham Castle at some point. Um, I'd love to take him there. So one day, you never know, I might see you down there volunteering. They haven't been there since they did the whole refurb. A little bit expensive. Hopefully they drop the prices. And Batman 77. Hello, Batman. How you doing? Uh, what's Empaza and what's Clave? I might have to do Google Translate on this. Does anybody know what that, that translates to? Right, Empaza. Oh, Empaza is start. Clave is key code. Okay. Or just uh, Empaza. Oh, classification ATP. 
Uh... Whoa! Whoa, 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 what's going on? Alberto Ferretta has donated one pound. Which is just garlic. <laughs> I remember that. That fat, fat show, Greg. Emilio fue tenis tu en segundo lugar, pero primero fue un actor adulto que hacía videos de fisting. What? <laughs> I have no idea what the fir uh, first bit was, but then the last bit said videos de fisting. Um, I can't copy and paste from my Streamlabs the... Um, like the um, the message is unfortunately it doesn't work. Um, thank you. Um, oh, first of all, bananas in the chat for Alberto Ferretta. I don't even know what Alberto Ferretta is or what reference that is. I think that's gonna be GP, right? Pat McNoles, GP. You're gonna have to explain that one because <laughs> I have no no freaking idea what the joke was. There. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, uh I uh, um yeah, I don't know on that one. Um and I don't think even Lord Sugar does. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, GP. <laughs> and uh, the last bit there, video is defisting, I, I don't want to know. <laughs> right, um uh, let's go with I don't know, uh Classifications ATP. Okay, lovely. Uh, do I have to choose someone? Uh, uh, can we play a McEnroe? Uh, oh. oh. Oh, we're in. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm playing against Stefan Edberg. Scorchio. <laughs> um... Chris Waddle. I remember that from the, <laughs> from the past show. Yeah. Uh, as GP explained that one. That's got to be GP. Right. Uh, Petey fixed your te technical issues. Awesome. Right, okay. So this is Emilio S uh, Sanchez Vicario Grand Slam. Oh, look. You got a crosshair for your serve. Okay, let's put it out wide. Right in the corner. Oh, there was sampled speech. Oh, it looks a bit laggy, but looks quite good. Ow! Uh, no proper emoji for tennis ball. You could do excavation bot tennis as well, Batman. Oh, it's like Adidas. Your player runs on. Oh, the the computer controls uh, where the player runs to. Ah, uh, so it's like Adidas. The computer controls the player movement. Thank you, Pete Walker, for the top tip there. DP says it's not me. I don't speak Spanish. Yes, it was you. I can I can tell on my phone or my emails. That was you, GP. That was you. Now this looks like a proper tennis game, doesn't it? I've got a, there's a box um there's a box top left corner, and every time I hit the fire button, it changes. And I don't quite understand what it's doing. <clears throat> Darren says, My oldest daughter played at Country Lab under a few training sessions with Shara Pover's coach. Really, Darren? Wow. Hang on, Darren, isn't your daughter now doing like wrestling or something like that? Or have I got you confused with someone else? But wow, that sounds really cool, Darren. Put it out far wide here. Oh! <laughs> it says... Jolly! Good evening, Jolly. How you doing? Uh, 
Wow. Punto to break. God. It's about to break me. And Vocal, my fella Al. How you doing, Vocal? Welcome. Yeah, I've not got the gist of the controls here. Oops. Right. I know what it is. My, my joystick controls the, um, yeah, where I'm placing the crosshair, but it controls it whilst um, the player's moving. And the fire button controls the type of shot I'm going to do. Ah, 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 ah. Right. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hang on then. No, I've not got the controls on this. So what are we thinking? No, I've not worked out. Uh, no, I am controlling the player. I think I'm going mad, guys. I like the sampled speech on this. Oh, oh, oh I'm returning serve. I am in control of the player. I'm just an idiot. Right. I thought I was... I thought the computer was in control of the player. At one point, it, it seemed like the computer was in control of the player. Ah. Uh, Right. Okay. Right. Okay. This is the sorry guys. I've got really confused by this game and the controls. Okay. So you are in control of your player. You are moving him around. But when you commit to a shot and hold down the fire button, you can then move your targeting crosshair on on the um court where you want the ball to go. That's really clever. Uh but then there's the, something about the um, the icon in the top co corner of the screen changes the type of shot, but I've not worked out how you choose that. Um, but yeah, it's something about that. Yeah, D equals drop shot, G equals lob, something like that. Minsoft, hello Minsoft. But I don't know how you change between the type of shot. That's what I've not worked out yet. So this is actually re the system. Looks really good on this, but I've not worked it out yet. Unfortunately, I can't read Spanish instructions. Uh, Zyp uh, FC Denog says proper movement on the character. Good tennis game on for eight bit system. Worst tennis, been worst tennis games on the NES. Yet yeah, the only thing is, it, it, it's not exactly smooth moving around the court. It looks a bit laggy, doesn't it? Uh, it's like on ten times frame skips as retro name. Yeah, it's like ju 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 it's jumpy around the screen, isn't it? However, this is probably the best control scheme 
and gameplay I've seen. Ah! I've worked it out. I've worked it out. He auto swings. That's what it is. Fire button changes the type of shot you do. The computer auto swings the racket for you. But I've cracked it. I've cracked it. Fire button changes the the, um, the icon. The type of shot you want. The computer auto swings the racket. Cracked it. That is amazing. No hand on the fire button. Yeah! So my hand is not on the fire button at all, guys. G's lob shot. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I like this. This game rocks. This is great. Just use Google Lens on your phone to translate it. Oh, I can't be bothered with that. I figured it out. Oh, I like this, guys. I like this. Oh, guys, this is a really good tennis game. Lob him. I'm going to lob him at the net. Oh. I tried to lob him at the net. This is great. Oh, I knocked it out. That are oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Right, we're gonna. Oh, and we got sampled speech going out. How cool is that, guys? We haven't had an ace yet. Oh, I've, I've, I've spooned it out. Oh, there's only one Wimbledon worthy game here, and this ain't it. Craig, you've got to play this. You've got to play this. This is brilliant. Seriously. It, it, it's unfortunately laggy. Uh, that's the only downside. And I think, um, unfortunate. And I think, like, yeah, a four color graphics as well. It would be nice if this was, like, full color. Um, like, mode naught. Nice, bright, and colorful. But the game, uh, gameplay is king. Gameplay is always king. This. Is like that. The, 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 this is the best controlling uh, a, a, a game uh, tennis game I've ever seen on the Amstrad. I mean, we haven't seen uh, any of uh, tennis much tennis games yet, but this is great. This is I, I love it. I think I could play this like for freaking ages. All right, he knows I'm going there. Codemasters Pro Porta Potty. There is a Codemasters tennis game I like quite a lot, actually. <laughs> right, I'll set the voter back to you in a second. Mansfield was quite impressed a bit as well. Spanish Inquisition has to <laughs> dropped to one pound twenty-eight. Can the next stream be find out what kind of potato you are? Uh, I beg your pardon. Can the next stream be f uh, find out what kind of potato you are? Okay. 
Um, that was from. Taking my phone, I think that. <laughs> no one expected that <laughs> exactly. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. The next week. Uh, thank you. Uh, that was uh, Jolly, I think. Thank you, Jolly, for the one pound twenty-eight there. Let the bananas rain down for Jolly. How you doing, Jolly? Um, Retro Nim. I like Pro Tennis Simulator as well from Code Masters. That was a good one as well. Code Masters Pro Potato Simulator. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you, my friend. Which is actually plain like Stefan Edberg charging the net at every opportunity. Oh, is that what Stefan Edberg have do, uh, did? So that's actually quite accurate then. That's cool. We have a game without doubt, but there are better. We shall find out, Craig. We shall find out. Let's put a poll up. Let's put a poll up. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Right. Uh, okay. Okie dokie. Let's put the poll up. All right. I am definitely voting Wimbledon champion worthy. 100% one of the for me, one of the best tennis games on the Amstrad. Uh, if not, highly ranked. Gotta be. Gotta be, in my opinion. But I think you have to play it. I love the actual control scheme on this. I think the perspective is just right. You can see all of the courts. Uh, see where the opponent is. I think what lets it down is, is the frame rate. Uh, the lack of colours. That's all I would say. Once you figure out the control scheme. Yeah. Uh, Peter Pan. Thank you for the subscription there. Thank you, Peter Pan. Oh, ass. The awards have not been. Uh, well, Adidas, Adidas Championship Tennis was all right. Uh, Focal. And Centre Court wasn't great. Oh, I've just been aced. Ass. Uh, we're going to move on after this one, don't you worry. Let a few more votes come in first. Oh, he played me there. Hello, Nightwolf Games. How are you, Nightwolf? Good to see you again. Out. Okay. Did that, well, did that ball go out? Oh, your player does automatically... Ah. Right, at certain times... Right, there are... <laughs> it's weird. At the, like, there are points where your the computer does have you... Does automatically move your player into position. And sometimes it doesn't. It's weird, this control scheme. Right, I'll show you what I mean. Right. After you serve, right, okay, the computer and the... Uh, when you serve and the computer returns the serve to you, the computer automatically moves your player for you into position and you can move the target you move the target but any other time you're in control of the player does that make sense and actually that works really well because like the the computer has the advantage returning the serve if you know what i mean in tennis that in tennis that make that's that's a real thing because once you whack the serve and you whacked it really hard you're like oh right and the computer and, and your opponent then returns it and then you've got to sort of like, if, the, if, the, if your opponent manages to return your hard serve, 
he then has the advantage and like do you know what i mean does that make sense for those of you who play tennis that you you know what i'm talking about Look, so the computer's moving my play into position there. I'm just moving my crosshair. What's the background of this story on the site? There's not much background. Oh. Oh, no. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong on that. You are in control of the player when after after you've hit the ball you are in control of your player moving him on the court you can move the player once the computer has hit the ball then the control switches of the of the of your player switches to the computer the computer will move your player into position and control switches to your crosshairs and then you're in control of your crosshairs for where you are going to hit the ball. Does that make sense? Ah! Right. That. Right. Okay. Okay. Sorry. It took a bit of getting used to. So. <laughs> so. That actually is a really good control scheme. What's the Right. I'm moving my player after I've hit the ball. When the computer has hit the ball, I'm in control of the crosshairs. It's that simple. It's that simple. Right. Okay. Works really, really well. Okay. What's the poll saying? Wimbledon champion worthy, 34%. Wow. Highly ranked, 46%. Fame of us, 34%. Pe Poggy like an old pong console, 6%. Okay. What's interesting here is if I if I actually don't touch the controls, I'll actually just sit there having a bit of a rally because I'm not moving the crosshairs at any point. The game has scrambled my brain. I think we'll move on because I'm just confusing people probably. But um, so, see, look, they'll just sit there almost having a rally. Because the computer automatically swings a racket for you and moves your player into position. Yeah. All right. We'll end the poll there. Trust me, this is going to be one of the best games on the um, tennis games. Anyway, I'll end the poll there and we'll move on. Because I think I'm just confusing everyone. I, I, It took me ages to figure this out. And I think we need to move on. We'll move on. <laughs> Jesus. I've just like made everyone's brain scrambled there. Anyway, um, it's a shame it's so sluggish. It is. That is true. That is true. There you go. Uh, it got highly ranked, forty-four percent. Wimbledon champion worthy, thirty-six percent. I didn't convince enough of you there. I didn't convince enough of you. Right, next game tonight. Oh dear. Oh dear. Next game tonight is well. <laughs> In game, it's called Lawn Tennis, but Mastertronic uh, put it on the box as Grand Prix Tennis. Prepare for a stinker. This is called Grand Prix Tennis. Two out of ten needed more Cliff Riches. No, no. Will you load this up? This loads up as Lawn Tennis. I'll stop the music here. Hello, Smooth MJ, Smoothie. Moon walking into the stream. How you doing, Smoothie? <laughs> Good grief, look at this one. Yawn tennis. We've got some great music by Jazz C. Brook here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, Pete. But here's the box art. Oh, Grand Prix Tennis from Mastertronic. I don't know where Lawn Tennis comes from. 
There you go. But in game, lawn tennis. Right. Right, guys, I'm just going to grab a quick drink from the fridge. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Enjoy the music a second. Be right back. of that ball. <laughs> right. If I remember correctly, this is one of the worst tennis games. Here we go. Right. First service. Oh, I'm the um, guy at the bottom there with the giant blonde... Mullet in the red. Okay. Oh, and I can't. <laughs> I can't serve the ball there. Second service. <laughs> oh no. Oh, got it. Oh, I I got an ace. I got an ace. Isometric tennis is never going to work, no. Is that even in? Oh, he got it in. Oh. I aced him again. Oh, my God. Ah! Uh, how am I meant to return that? How's he meant to return that? Oh my god, he can't even get to it because if I just pause it there, if I just get my cursor, like the ball literally bounced there and then it hit like an, in, an invisible wall. <laughs> so the sprite couldn't even get there. But, this is called like the alley, by the way, in tennis. I think this is called like the alley where like the doubles court uh, players play in. The sprite can't even go there, so the ball like came across here, landed about there, and then stopped at an invisible wall. So even if he like came here across here, he couldn't get in there to return it where it bound. It would have bounced. Would have gone wee boing. He wouldn't even be able to go there to return it because there's an invisible wall. <laughs> oh my god. That's got to be out. That gave him the point! Oh, I got, we got a rally on the go. It gave him the game! Oh my god. This is Wii Sports the CPC. Oh! Oh! He finally, he finally swings his racket, even though I was hitting the... Oh, this is garbage. Oh, is GP off? Uh, GP... No. <laughs> oh, this is awful. GP, good night, GP. Take care, my friend. Thank you for the cheeky dodos. I didn't translate what the last one was. But thank, thank you, GP. Take care. Have a great weekend. Night night mate. Take care cheeky TB. Graphically okay. It's colourful. Yeah. Good lord. What is this? For a £1.99 budget tennis game though. 
it still soil trousers, <laughs> says Ben Rear. This is awful. Ah! Look! I told you, invisible wall. It just like, just, yeah. You see how, how the ball just like went there? Good Lord. Goodness. Hey, Dasadare! How you doing, Dasadare? Does match point is this for Amsterdam? I am drunk, so I don't know. Yes, it does! And it's coming up. What? I'm hitting the fire button and he's not doing anything! Oh, God, an ace every time. Oops. Random controls, like, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, arse. Yeah, yeah, Lister. Ah! Ace every time. I don't get it. It's like looking into a Nintendo Virtual Boy, it hurts my eyes. Like, I can just score an. Oh, second service? What? Oh, he returned it this time! No! Oh, and I lost the game again. Game to Lee. Just. Walked around the. <laughs> I just like oh, I don't. Oh, oh I could hold down the fire button. And you just keep swinging the racket until. Okay. I I, I hit the ball when he went behind me. Oops. Good lord. Um. Good lord. Uh, that's it. I'm fine. Just got a new job at Sonic. Week so happy. Hey! Congratulations, Dasadair. No wonder you're drunk. Celebration time, eh, Dasadair? Please swing your racket. I'm hitting the fire button. And he's not doing anything. Aced him again. We're not sure about the physics engine of this. You don't say, Craig. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this is utter toilet. I, I, I just like. Oh God. I'm giving it a fair shake, guys. I'm giving it a fair shake. <laughs> Find a way to ace him every time. Second service. Aced. There you go. Bjorn! That's my player. Bjorn has finally won a game, ladies and gentlemen. And we almost had a bit of a rally there. Right. Okay. Let's put a poll up. Jesus. That is absolutely arse candle of highest order in, uh, in honour of Anna. I'm not sure Anna will be here tonight. 
So, put a pole up. Usual, op same options as before. Good lord. There you go. The pole is up now. Place your vote. <laughs> Hit the ball or fry some breakfast. Does it look like you're playing with frying? It does. It looks like we're playing with frying frying pans. Groundskeeper Willie is kicking your ass. It is a playing against Groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. Amazing. And the ball has warped around the universe again. <laughs> Game to Lee. Yeah, it's just impossible. He's knocked it out. Ace him. Let's see if we can get straight aces. There we go. There you go, straight aced him. Every every point there. Oh, come on. Okay, just can't uh, ever seem to like get a rally going. What's the vote so far then? Wimbledon. Who voted for it being Wimbledon champion worthy? Jesus, who voted it for highly ranked? We've got some troll voting going on tonight. Some people are very drunk. Oh! We've got some music there. Set to Lee. There we go. Oh, it's best of two sets there or something. Three sets. Oh, a nice little jingle of music there. And they have a little break. Okay, it's not a bad presentation. Is that game over? Uh, a game. I think the game's frozen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woolly hears you. Woolly doesn't did, did care. <laughs> uh, the game is frozen, ladies and gentlemen. It's crashed. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's it, oh, it's come back. It's come back to life. Oh, what? Oh dear. And we've aced him again. There we go. The game is waiting for Cliff. No! 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 Go! Shoo! 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 <laughs> Bloody Cliff. No! Go away, Cliff! Go! <sighs> right. We'll end the poll there. We've got 36 votes. Right. That will do. Grand Prix Tennis. Pong in like an old Pong console. Definitely, definitely, absolutely terrible. McEnroe is not happy with that one. And I don't blame him. So Grand Prix Tennis, a.k.a. Lawn Tennis, definitely, definitely a stinker. Oh, 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 oh. We've got an interesting one coming up next, boys and girls. Race stop play. <laughs> yeah, right. Bottom wrong arse candle. Okay. And next game up tonight. International 3D Tennis. Oh. That didn't work. Right. Here we go again. Next game up tonight. International 3D Tennis from Sensible Software, I believe. <laughs> the Makarai just been told he would have evolved from that clip. <laughs> Musa! Hello, Musa! How you doing, my friend? I remember being wowed by this at the time, but it's really cumbersome. Oh, God! I might get a music copyright claim for this. I'm actually going to put the volume down quite quietly. 
pretty sure I got a claim for this music. The, like the Wimbledon theme. Uh oh. oh. I should be okay from this point onwards, probably. Put it back up in volume. It's this point in the stream where we, the, the music might get copyright claimed and muted, so, uh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, it's really tennis the same port as CC4, because that was awesome. Hayes played it. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out in a second. FC. Barry Roadwald. Hello, Malamut. Good evening. Right, we better crack on, actually. Play one versus CPU. Three sets on carpet. Clay, grass, cement. Let's go grass. We want nice, nice green colour. Cannot be serious. <laughs> uh, press fire. Player one. Player one versus CPU. Also, we'll be on uh, the likes and the thumbs up tonight. Let's have a look. If you, uh, thank you if you've given us a like and a thumbs up tonight. I very, very, very much appreciate. It. Oh, we're on fifty likes so far. If you like, if you'd like to enjoy, if you if, if you're enjoying the stream, give us a like and a thumbs up. I'd very, very, very much appreciate it. Thank you very much if you have already. Um, it helps really, really helps get the stream more noticed and um, and it gets it pushed and promoted by the Google YouTube algorithms to lots of new people more interaction and thumbs ups and all that kind of stuff so thank you very very much if you have already thank you boys and girls um right okay let's have a look uh 56 awesome thank you thank you awesome uh yes this is the one awesome game the 60s this is what i've seen this on amstrad okay Game looks funny, but it has great gameplay. Now, I'm not sure which one I am. I think I might be the black player at the bottom, and the computer is the white one. Yeah, I think I'm the black player. Oh, he flashes when he needs to hit the ball. Okay. Oh, bugger. Lots of camera options to try out. Oh, how do I do the camera options? Right, I'll tell you what, let's, um, uh, tennis. Uh, there must be a manual for this. Right, I'll just show you the, um, box art and stuff. Let's put the, uh, uh, there's the box art. Not exactly the most exciting box art in the world that really shows off what the game is going to be about pretty bog standard tennis stuff notice that sensible software went on to do sensible soccer of course stockman plays tennis yeah yeah like stock footage of a tennis player but obviously then you look at the back oh wow actually full 3d tennis um Wow, hang on a second, let's... Uh... Oh, uh... Zero to nine, change camera angle. He's A to J on the spectrum. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh! So this is camera angle two, three, four, five. <laughs> hey, AD. Uh, so it says, hey guys, still with you. Just doing the ultimate hack on a Mega Drive Mini. The Mega Drive 32X Masters and Mega CD games is pretty big. Nice! Well done, AD. Camera angle 7. 8. 9. Whoa! 
Hemranga zero. Let's try it. One, two, two's probably best. Three, four. Camera angle five doesn't work for some reason. Five does nothing. A camera angle six does nothing. I don't get that. Five and six does nothing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay. Oh, so it's one of those games where the computer moves your player into position for you. I mean, it's nice you got all these camera angles, but are they mostly worthless? It's a little bit like Emilio Sanchez, where you can move your player to a, for a bit, and then the computer moves him for you when you release control of it. What? I was hitting fire button there. Huh? Released by Palace Software, developed by Sensible Software. Yeah. Oh, it is! Five and six on my uh, numbers five and six normally is not working, but if you use the numeric pad, they work. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Zero. Huh. Okay, use the numeric pad, which is like the function key. So it's F1, F2, F3, F5. Okay, right. Two. F2 or F8. f is quite nice. Let's try F8 for a while. Arse. Awesome maps there. Do you use nine and zero or the <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so it's a load of pointless camera angles there, but uh, it's kind of a novelty thing, really. Uh, do you? Re I mean, maybe if you're watching a demo, it'd be interesting, but it seems out. Seems more of a novelty than it is anything useful for the gameplay. Unless, am I missing anything there? Am I wrong about that? I'm sure I hit the fire button there. Thank you, uh, FC Den Hag, for pushing the the, uh, the likes there and the thumbs up. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. I don't know, this could be useful. This maybe this for you. For like returning the serve. I don't know. I mean, the tennis itself is okay. The gameplay is all right. I mean, the computer will move your play into position. 
Uh, it will flash when you need to hit the ball. You could just like wait. You could just sit back and just wait and just hit the fire button. And you might just like cheese through every match, wait for it to flash and hit the fire button at the right time. I don't know. I don't think the gameplay is quite there. It's cool having the 3D thing. That's really nice. Uh, it'd be fun watching maybe. It's, it's a novelty more than anything. Uh, I mean the 3D graphics. It's 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 cool they've done it. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Riff glitches. <laughs> what? You cannot be serious. <laughs> Definitely the cauldron, the second of Amstrad's CPC tennis games. Steve Brown got a thank you in the credits for this game. Oh, did he now? I oh, know who that'll be. That'll be Man Shovel, won't it? Hang on, let me, uh... Hang on, I lost me... My mouse is broken. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> thank you! Let's see, who was that? Let's see, the, first of all, Banana's in the chat there. For a uh, Rift Glitches. <laughs> I think that's got to be Man Shovel, right? Man Shovel! Thank, thank you for the one pound there. Thank you, Man Shovel. And the bananas rain down. Or pumpkins. For the Man Shovel. Thank you, Man Shovel. <laughs> Cauldron 2 of Andrew CPC Tennis Games. Steve, I've got a thank you in the credits for this one. I will say it's the Cauldron 2 because I actually... I don't, I, I don't mind this one. This one's alright. Um, It's... I don't hate it. After I just think there's not much gameplay to it. It's all right. It's all right, this one. So let's put... I'll tell you what. I'll put the poll up in the chat so people can start voting on this one. And we'll have a, we'll have one more, like, quick game. I think this will probably end up being highly ranked, this one. But not, like, Wimbledon champion worthy, I reckon. All right. I don't think it's one of the best tennis games, but I think it will be like second tier. You know what I mean? So I'll put the poll up now in the chat. Man, she will thank you again. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more to this game in the first place. Like the controls get more advanced and higher levels. You can aim your shots really well, and there's a career season mode. Oh, Fenrir says there's more hidden depths this game than I, I'm perhaps giving it credit for. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't have... Yeah. I mean, I don't have to just, like, sit back, wait for the computer to move my player in position, and then wait for him to flash and hit the fire button. I don't have to do that. I can take control of my player, and I think on higher level difficulties, I would have to do that. But yeah, yeah. I think, I, th I think, guys, I think. Let me just find a better. What should we go for? This angle? That angle? <laughs> yeah, no. 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 <laughs> Let's see if we can score that. Like, this is the worst one. All right, let's see if we can score a point from this. Oh my god. I might be able to. I did it. I managed to score a point from that angle. Yay. <laughs> Oh my god, right. Oh, hello Mikey! Hello Mikey and Janie, how you doing? Welcome my friend, how are you? Good to see you again. 3D tennis on the abstract. At a crazy angle. Uh, where should we go back to? This one. Right. Um, 
Uh, Batman 77 says, I agree with that 100% Paul Henderson. But there's also a career and season mode. Imagine playing a whole career and season mode in this, though. I don't know if I could. I think this is decent. I think this is like high. I reckon highly ranked will uh, get it in the poll vote. Damn it. I was too soon there. Man Shovel, you go ahead and do that with Cauldron 2. Just, just remove that whole bouncing mechanic. <laughs> Yeah, nice return serve there. Awesome. Andre Agassi, when I was a kid, he was like a rock star at the time. I always thought Andre Agassi was cool as well. He was. He was quite rock star-ish, and Andre Agassi, with his long hair and like uh, he had like like proper he had like earrings and stuff, didn't he? He did seem kind of cool, rock star-ish. It's Jane with you as well. Hello, Jane. <laughs> How are you doing? The little stick man is funny. I know. Bless. That's how they did 3D. Uh, this is from Sensible Software, Mikey and Janie. They went on to do Sensible Soccer and all that. So, um, one of their earlier games. Oh, and I've asked it up here. There we go. Some people thought this was ponging like an old pong console in the in the poll. Playing with Buster Rackie got 24%. Wimbledon champion worthy, 70%. But high ranks, 46%. We'll end the poll there and we'll move on. Ethiopian pro tennis. Retro on limb. Brief. All right, we'll end the poll there. So, yeah, high ranks, 46%. Yeah, I think I, think I agree with that. I think I agree with that to you guys. I think that's about right for, for this one. Okay. All right. We'll move on to the next one. I'm making good progress now. So the next tennis game tonight will be... Let me have a look. Oh, it's another budget one from Zeppelin Games. Let's have a look. Uh, our next game tonight is International Tennis from Zeppelin Games. I hope you got the right disc file. I have. Budget game. Uh, Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Harry Roger Webb. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Thank you, Harry Roger Webb. It's really me this time, not one of those imposters. Whoa! Thank you for the three pounds. 93. Weirdly specific amount there. Who the hell was that? <laughs> Harry Roger Webb. Oh, is that Cliff Richards' real name? I'm not sure he's happy about that. Hang on, let's see who that was on my phone. That's Craig. Craig's bar. Craig Harrison. Thank you. <laughs> Bananas in the chat there. Thank you, Craig. Bloody Cliff, bloody Richards. That's his real name. Is Harry Webb. It was, wasn't it? Bye, thank you. Let's get rid of. Let's get rid of Cliff there. Bye, Cliff. Craig, thank you, mate. <laughs> oh, I think it's loading up now. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> you had me all confused there for a second. I was like, who the fart is Harry Roger Webb? Um, thank you. Who, who tipped me off there? Um, oh, it was Magic Knight. Thank you, Magic Knight. Lister of new as well. So this is International Tennis from Zeppelin Games. Let's have a look. I'll try to find the box art for you quickly. International Tennis. Uh, there we go. There you go. There's International Tennis. God, who does that look like? That, that, that looks like they... 
Who does that look like? That does look like that reminds me of someone. On the cover there. I don't know who it is. Hmm. Maybe a bit of Pat Cash? Could be. I don't know. <laughs> Paddy McGuinness? Could be. Could be. Good call. Good call. Smoothie. Johnny Johnny Cash? I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, actually, that's quite a nice box art there from Zeppelin Games. Alan Shearer of Hair. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, nice box up there. Zeppelin Games release. Quite a rare one. I'm not I'm not seeing this. Uh, I don't I've never really seen this one before. Uh Craig from Bros. Could be. If he if he just got rid of the uh, I'm trying to look at this without the I can't put my hand over that. Yeah. Got rid of the hair. Hey Mr. Matt Myers, how you doing, Matt? It's good to see you, dude. Welcome, welcome. And OMG, it's OSG. How you doing, old style gaming? Welcome. How's the tricks, mate? Right. Um, it's not accepting. What the fuck is going on with this? Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Trolls, how do I... Ah, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, space. Uh, singles against computer. Okay, that's... Single match five. Oh, space. Okay, yeah, yeah. Core stuff is great. Ah, space and ends. Right, I've, I've worked out how to get through this. Skill level easy. Player one joystick, and then hit play. Oh, okay, we're off. All right, okay, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. I've seen a better tennis game for the Amstrad. Have you? Um... <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Matt Myers? Uh, OSG, what have you been up to this evening? A late appearance from you. Uh, and OSG sent me a YouTube video link. Oh, Jesus. What's this? I'll open it quietly. Tennis Patino, what? He's made me a video, I think. Okay, okay, uh, I'm streamed. Uh, OSG has made a video, all right? Do you want to watch it? OSG has sent me this video actually. I can't you can't hang on. If I just uh, if I just um if I just like remove myself, he's called it Tennis Patino. Tennis Patino, can you see that bottom left corner? You ready? Cheeky bugger. Tennis Patino. You even spelt it wrong. You missed out the R in it. Tennis Patino. Cheeky sod. Making fun of us. Uh, making fun of our best Patinos. Well done. <laughs> Cheeky sod. <laughs> that, so that's what you've been up to this evening. Cheeky gear. <laughs>
Oh my days. <laughs> That'll be out before Vespertina. I'll shut it retro on him. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh dear. Well done, OSG. Exclamation mark clap in the chat. OSG did a funny. <laughs> hey, Anton Mapton. I saw oh, Anton, sorry. I was gonna say hello to you in the chat. I saw you earlier in the chat, and then something happened, and then uh, I oh god, the chat scrolled and I, I've got to say hello. Anton, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. <laughs> I'll have to make. I'll have to like make a revenge video about OSG Tino, some about something. I don't know. No, no, I can't do it. Anyway, right back to the game. Well done, OSG. You get right international tennis from Zeppelin Software. <laughs> uh, OSG gave uh, gave Zypher gave OSG the clap. Who? Uh... <laughs> okay. I'm really making that game. Oh, right. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, this one doesn't look too bad. For a budgie. Oh, I aced him. Are you going to put that in your new Amstrad video, OSG? <laughs> hey, this one isn't bad for a budget game. Oh, swap side. I muffed up my serve. That was me serving there. Oh. Hey, it moves around smoothly. Uh, the animation's not bad. And it plays quite fast. I was just about to knock it down the side there. Right, it's me serving now. Oh, I aced him! I aced him! Oh. Knocked it in the net. Oh. Oh, he got it. Aced him, yes. Wow, this is this is actually quite good. Oh man. I'm returning serve now at the bottom, just so you know, guys. Oh, is German off? Uh, he says early start tomorrow. No worries, German. Take care, my friend. Oh, overhead smashes you can do. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, German, take care, my friend. Have a great weekend. Uh, have a good one, sir. See you again soon. Oh, it's quite hard to get your positioning it on this, though. Aced him. It's not easy, this one. Oh. I lost it. I'm at the top now, returning serve. It's not kind with like their hitbox with your, um, like when you swing your racket and the ball. Arse. I lost another game. This is hard. This is not easy. Man, you gotta really concentrate. Oh! And it's fast.
Not a great. <laughs> IP freely has donated one pound. <laughs> Who is this? It's bedtime. Enjoy playing with your balls for the rest of the night. Cheers. Balls <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Um, who's that? Let me just try and wait for my phone to update there. Uh, but while my phone is updating, bananas in the chat as usual, please, boys and girls, for Jolly, Jolly, thank you, Jolly, for the one pound there. Thank you, Jolly. Good night, Jolly, if you're off there. Enjoy playing with your balls in bed as well. <laughs> thank you, Jolly. Good night, my friend. Thank you for the one pound there. Thank you for hanging with us tonight. Thank you for your support in the AM squad as always, Jolly. Take care, my friend. Have a good one. Have a lovely weekend. And see you again soon, Jolly. Thank you, mate. You're right, OSG. This is not a patch on tennis patino. Dear, oh dear. Um, uh, Craig says there's no scaling on the players. I need the ball, but that's okay. Give it depth. Yeah, that's probably asking too much of the budget game. Uh, but yeah, fair point. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The ball must be shinier than my head because the shadow is a reflection. <laughs> that was G. Um, what's next? Golf games on the Amstrad? No, no. We won't have like a sports themed Amstream probably for another a year or six months or something. Um, we did. We did last year. We did Olympic Summer Games last year. We did like a yearly sports am stream generally. We did soccer game, soccer football games the year before that as well. So we do like a yearly sports themed one. So no sports games are not always like everyone's cup of tea. So uh... uh Craig, I agree as well. It's the best use of four colours mode one I think I've seen tonight actually. Oh yeah, there's, is there a shadow on the ball? Oh, there is. You're right. Aced him again there. The aces don't always work every time, though, I've noticed. Unlike certain tennis games you've seen tonight. Damn. I lost my serve there. I'm at the bottom returning serve. Oh, yeah, it's a really small hitbox with your. Oh. Oh. This is really tough. Oh, got it past him there. No chance. And I've lost that one already. Yikes. Oh, smashed it at the net. Let's go. I like that. You've got overhead smashes on this. That's cool. Uh, a golf night would be good, though. That would be a very slow am stream. I think with tennis games, at least they're kind of fast and interesting. And there's various different ways of doing them. Golf games are just all the same, though, aren't they? Pretty much. There's a few rugby games on the Amstrad. We could do a rugby night one night. Codemasters Advanced Tiddlywink Simulator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 150th British Open from St. Andrews next week is a pretty big deal. I don't think many people here would care about it though, David. Probably, I don't know. Any massive golf fans here? Oh, two aces in a row. Bit of a rally on the go. Oh, man. Oh. Come on. I 
At least you can have a proper rally in this. Bloody hell. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Don't clip that don't clip that sound bite, please. <laughs> Just realise how that sounded. Um but it is like a really difficult tennis game. Oh look at that return there. Nice. Pass. Uh, okay, we're going to put a pole up in a second. Damn it, I keep spooning it out. Bogger. Alright, we'll put a pole up then. Hey, Will101. Welcome to the stream, Will. Nice to see you again. How are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. I think this is really decent, this one. I think for set, definitely for a budget game, this is actually pretty damn good. Um, but where will you place it? Where will you place this one, boys and girls? I am going to put the poll up. Uh, let's put the options in. So, just a reminder of the options. Wimbledon Champion Worthy is like one of the best tennis games Highly ranked is like okay to decent, it's like one of the better ones. Average, uh, so playing with a busted racket option is like basically average to poor. Um, I should perhaps put that in brackets actually. Oh, we can't. Nah, I can't fit that in. Never mind. Um, and Pong in like an old Pong console is like one of the worst. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've seen I can't do redeems on uh, YouTube. Never mind. Uh, do badminton games count tonight? There's one. I'm not doing badminton. No, I won't have time for that. How are you doing, Will? Animation is also very detailed. Yeah, yeah. Very detailed animation. This is really good for a budget game. It's fast. It's well detailed, well animated. You can actually have a bit of a rally on it. Oh, ass. Oh, there was quite a few options there as well. I think you could have two players. Did he mention doubles on the title screen as well? Stem. Ass. Can't seem to return it now. What? Ah. Son of a bitch. Right, okay. Right, what's the polls like looking like there? 34 votes there. Uh, 35. Ooh, look at that. I'll, I'll let it go just for a few more minutes, uh, maybe another minute there. It's quite tight there at the top. Some voting for Wimbledon champion worthy. Interesting. Forty-four percent for highly ranked. Some for Wimbledon Championship worthy.
He's not falling for my aces now. I think it is a little bit too hard though. It's just a little bit on the ungenerous side when it comes to the hit detection with your swings on your racket. Rally on the go here. Yay! There we go. I think I'll leave that there. Uh, we will end the poll on that note. Doesn't let you hit back in the corners. I think he does. Yeah. Oh, is Darren off? Which, uh, hang on a second. I've missed some chat there. Um, we're doing it alphabetically retro on them. Um... Hey, Darren. Yes, it's going like this whole break. Night on, enjoy the rest of the stream. Good night, Darren. Take care, Darren. Yeah, we better crack on the games as well. Take care, Darren. Have a great weekend with the kids and the family. Take care, Mr. Connor. A good look at the painting. Um, see you soon. None of your beers. Welcome, my friend. Brilliant tennis game, this one. The best of the lot. I don't think it beats Emilio uh, Sanchez for me, personally. But I like this one. I'm quite surprised by this one, how good this is. For a budget as well. Um, it's just a little bit too hard. Just and, and that it's unforgiving with like the the swing of the racket. It needs like a little bit more forgiving hit detection, and it'd be more fun. Right? Would you ever make a video about text adventure games? Um, I don't know. I'd like to do. I'd love to do um uh, a video about the famous five, and I'd love to do the disc one with all the the lovely pictures. But it's bugged. It's completely broken, the disc version will. Um, I have a lot of fond memories of that one. But no one's fixed it yet. I'm waiting for someone to eventually fix that game. And then maybe I'll do a video, like a long play of that. Or The Curse of Rabenstein, however, however you pronounce that one. I'd like to do that one maybe one day. That's a good one. Otherwise, I don't know what else. It's it, it, not usually uh, my type of thing. But yeah, Ward, that was a smash hit. Highly ranked, 46%. Wimbledon champion, champion worthy, 41%. There you go. The, that, mm, maybe the highest the highest rated one of the night so far, potentially. Um, equal, equal score with international 3D tennis. Both highly ranked, 46%. Wow. There you go. Because Emilio Sanchez got 44%. Although Adidas Championship tiebreak got 48% earlier. Adidas ranked higher. Anyway, right, let's move on. Ooh, one that some, several people were uh, looking for earlier. Actually, I'll keep... Hang on a second. Sorry, bloody OSG's video started playing in the background again. All right, um, several people were wanting this earlier. Time for some match point. You not long miss 3D tennis, international 3D tennis, the uh, sensible software one. You not long missed it, OSG. I think you came in just as we'd uh, finished on that, actually. Uh, Joseph Butter for joystick play. Quarterfinals, finals, we'll just do the quarterfinals. Player one. Right, okay. So this is match point. I'll show you the uh, box art quick for this one. Uh, not the most exciting of uh, box arts. There you are. That's the English box uh, uh, box art. French one, ball de match. <laughs> there you go, from Steyer. I think this got a uh, re-release on the Hit Squad budget label as well, which is a bit bizarre, because it was a Scion release. Scion, oh yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, Mike ZT is off, uh, are you Mike? Hey, good night Mike, take care man, have a great weekend. 
and we'll see you soon. Take care, Mike. Was it good? I think it's okay. I think it's okay, OSG. I don't know how it compares to, um, like... Oh, hang on. What's going on here? All right. Other versions. Like, if it's better than the Commodore or Specky or whatever. I just found it a bit... Yeah, uh, like, all the camera angles and stuff were a bit just, like, novelty. You know? The gameplay was okay. Match point time. Let's see what the computer... Oh, um, the computer... I don't know. Strab or whatever. Press five button to start. Okay. Let's see what the fuss is about then. Oh, I remember this now. Okay. M Musa, I love the match point. Oh, this is all right. Oh, it automatically serves. You just press the fire button and it also serves sort of thing. Do you not have any control over where the serve goes? Oh. Oh, we do a bit. Alright, this one. Oh. oh no, he broke me. So I was serving at the bottom there. Sorry, I should have probably pointed that out. Yes, okay. Oh, oh he hit oh the ball hit me, so it gave him the point. Uh, I'm not talking about international 3D tennis. I'm talking about a game called, called 3D Tennis. Oh. I don't think I've got one in my list called 3D. It's just literally called 3D Tennis. Um, there's one I've got coming up called Tennis 3D from Laurie Seals. Um, OSG. That got released in the UK as te Pro Tennis, weirdly. Is that the one? Is that the one? For well, Tennis 3D, it's from Laurie Seals. Uh, it's a French game. Wow, I'm having real trouble returning the serve here. Thank you, Matt Myers. Give me a Johnny Boy top tip there. Grand Prix Tennis on the list. Grand Prix Tennis. Yeah, we've already done that. Yeah, you you missed that. Um, Retro on limb. <laughs> we did that a while ago. I think. Did you did you did you go for a uh, did you go for a break or something? Um, Alright, okay, I need to get the hang of this. I'm not. Oh! I got an ace there. Uh, David Watkins doesn't like this one. Uh, I, I, I. It's got its charm. I, uh, uh, I, I don't. Uh, it's okay. Um, uh, I never really. I don't know if I ever really loved this one back in the day. Sorry, Musa. <laughs> I didn't think it was a bad tennis game. Uh, I thought it was a good effort. But I, 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 some games just like click with you and some don't. And I can see why some people have really fond memories of this one and they fell in love with it. I can see why. 
I, I, I don't know why this never really whether this I, I can see I don't know why this one never really clicked with me I, I don't know huh. well that was a good score there you sent me a video link there RSG I'll, uh, let me have a look at that in a second for you oh 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 that was good I'm starting to like this a bit more. Oh, what a nice. Maybe because I'm getting a bit more warmed up now on this one. Ah. Ah, oh, look at that. The ball boy collects the ball there. This game's got a lot of charm. I'll give it that. There you go. You actually get quite a good game of tennis out of this one. I've got to say. Hmm. Oh, it's Nish off. Hey, Nish. CPT Game Reviews. Good night, Nish, as well. Take care, Nish. And have a great weekend, mate. Take care, dude. Why am I really bad at returning serves? I don't get it. Oh! Finally got one back. Spooned it out. Oh. Alright, let me just catch up with the chat there. So, OSG sent me... Oh, God, hang on. Copy the link there. What's this, then? Uh, why is this not letting... Oh, no, it's going to break my chat window. Oh. Could you... Oh, it won't... Bloody hell. I can't get that link. Bizarrely, it like mangles the link in my chat window for that video OSG for some weird reason. If you want me to view it, can you send it on Discord or Facebook message if you want me to bring it up on stream? Um, uh, it wasn't on the Amst it wasn't on the Amstrad, I've just checked. Oh okay. Um Special tennis sims by dynamic on the list. I think so. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That's on the list. Retro on lame. Um, hey, Super Jim Tendo. Hello, Super Jim Tendo. How you doing, my friend? Um, OSG. If you want me to bring that video up on the uh, stream, let me know. Uh, you'll have to send it me in Discord DM or something like that. I'll talk about a game uh, called I Play 3D Tennis. Ooh. Uh, and Alex Ogier, hello Alex, welcome. Sorry I missed you there. Just catch up the rest of the um, uh, catch up the rest of the chat there. Um, what was Alex saying? Uh, my top three were Emilia Sanchez Vicario. I love that. I, we were checking that out at the start of the stream. I was trying to convince the rest of the chat how awesome it was. Match point we're doing right now. Tennis 3D. That's coming up very shortly. And tennis court. Oh yes, that will be coming up soon as well. Welcome Alex. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good tennis games. Um, yeah, Nish is saying that. But the collision detection is pretty solid, says Musa. Hmm. Um, uh, when you're down the ball, I think you can press fire to swap your racket position between left and right. Right, thank you, Musa. I just hold down the fire button and he just sort of sits, stands there, going back, 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 and it seems to work. In Discord, do you want to see the game I was talking about in general? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll bring it up on stream if you want. This is the Commodore 64 game that OSG was talking about. Let me just pause mine.
Oh, that looks good. Is this like a, a, a commercial release from back in the day, or is this like a homebrew thing? That does look good. Not much uh, sound. Yeah, that is that does look quite good actually. That is pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Hmm. Pretty cool. There's actually well, that there's a game coming up later that's not far off that, I would say. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, Retrotronics, good evening. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I need to set up a poll for this one, don't I? So, match point. Match point. It's an old classic, isn't it? I don't think it's like the best tennis game on the Amstrad, but I think it's deserving uh, as an old, old classic. Oh, dear. Set point. And I'm losing badly here. Go on then. One more point here. Amstrad takes the set there. Oh dear. Right. Okay. Let me put set up a poll for this one then. I think I need to take a little break after this game actually. But my eyes going a bit wonky. Yikes. Uh, right, match point. Right. This down on my monitor a bit. Okay, right, match point. Right, I wonder how the chat will rank this one. I like it, um, I started to like it a little bit more uh, the more I played it there. It felt a bit knob to start with, and then I started to like it a little bit more uh, the more I got used to its like, kind of quirks and its gameplay style. Um, an, old cl uh, an old early classic, this one, that maybe hasn't aged as well, but I quite like it. Um, uh, international tennis for five ninety nine on tape from Commodore themselves was brilliant. Um, international tennis. Did we have that one? Oh, we had international tennis from Zeppelin Games, the budget one. Was that a, was there a Commodore specific one of the of, of the same name Retrotronics? Match point on the Commodore sixty four was okay, but like very matchstick men compared to this. Oh really? Um right. Uh, Retrotronics says hello. I will be staying long. My favorite early tennis game so far on gameplay is Tennis Three D by Laurie Seals, but I lost my review before I could upload it. Oh unlucky. Uh, we'll be having a look at that. Um, very shortly, actually, that will be coming up shortly on the on the stream. OJBs, what uh, what are you typing there? Anyone for ten? Oh god, anyone for tennis? Very good, very good, OJBs. Uh, so the votes are coming in there. Uh, I'll just play a couple more quickly there. Oh, computer's hit in the net. I'm the guy at the bottom in the white. Computer's in black and white stripes. Uh, it's actually not bad mode one graphics here, I'd say. Oh, I hit it out there. Animation's okay. Oh, GP, you've come back. You said goodnight about um, half an hour ago. Couldn't sleep. Had a bad dream about Zypho getting married. <laughs> It's true though, GP. GP, I've been engaged for a few years. You know, we are planning our wedding at the moment. Uh, Barry Road rolled. Malamut says simple but functional. Well, it is. It is. Ah, uh, 
arm so I'd take to the game. So I'm serving at the top there. Ooh, I got an I got an ace. I don't really understand how the serving works because you hit the fire. You just press fire button once, and he throws a ball up, and he automatically smashes it for you. He just push directions, and that's it. Perfect. Were great courts of pro tennis tour exactly the same? I remember great courts during the Amiga. That was awesome. Uh, we're going to come to that. Um, I'll talk about that when we get to it, Fenrir. But essentially, they're the same. I, I don't know the story behind it, but I, I think they just rebranded it and renamed it. And it gets really confusing. And I'm not sure why. But essentially, they are the same game. And I... I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they did that. But I think it was like a rebranding. So I, I, I... If anyone knows why... Uh, does anybody know why Ubisoft renamed Great Courts to Pro Tennis Tour? And what, what's their reasoning behind that? God damn, I just really struggled returning the serves on this. Yeah. And they're based. Right. Okay, that'll do. What's the scores then for this one? Ooh, playing with a busted racket's in the lead at the moment. I think I was a bit surprised by that. I mean, he hasn't aged well. I would have thought this maybe been highly ranked, but... Yeah. Perhaps hasn't aged that well. Any more votes quickly before I end the poll? To be honest, I think we have seen better better tennis games tonight already. But this is an old early classic. And so if you're a fan of this one, like don't be upset. I think we can see it's an early, it's an early good un that that did get surpassed. Ah, oh. But for an early one, it's a good one. It's just like it doesn't have a really much of a range uh, of shots available. I, I was trying to do... I, I, it would have been nice being able to do a lob shot on that last rally there. And it wasn't available. I was trying to like pull back down on the joystick to do a lob shot. Any what? Yeah, there wasn't one you could do. <laughs> um, nice wide court. Yeah, at least you get a good view of the court. You can see all the action. It's got a good angle to it. Um, does a lot of things really well and really right. This game, right? Probably. Uh, should we call it there on the vote? What would be uh, EA's release strategy? What would become the EA's release strategy? Release the same sports game with a different name every year, Zypho. <laughs> yeah! On the Great Courts Pro Tennis Store thing, yeah. Great Courts might have been a Philippine dating agency. <laughs> Good lord. Um, we're not sure on that Retrotronics about Vespertino. I think it'll be a 128k only game, more than likely. I think they're making a disc 128k version. So you'll be missing a lot of content. Then you'll have, there'll be a cartridge version of the game with, for the full content. Whether that'll be an expansion thing that'll plug in the back of an Amstrad or a cartridge like Alcon 2020. I'm not really sure. Um, we're going to end the poll there. Uh, point joystick in different directions and time in the fire script of a good serve. Fire button switches from left to right handed. Thank you to Zong. Hello to Zong. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you again. Are you having your wedding at Checkers? <laughs> no. We're going to hopefully have it abroad and have a beach wedding, RSG. That's our plan. Um, right. Thank you, guys. So, unfortunately... Playing with a busted racket got it by 2%. 2%. But uh, good old match point there. I mean, highly ranked 40% of the vote. It was close. It was close. Right. Okay. 
All right. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to go uh, do our next game. Um, let's just come off that a second. Right, we're going to do our next game. How many games have we done tonight? How many more have we got to do? Oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're halfway through the list. Not bad, not bad. We're not done too bad then tonight. Then We'll probably get a, uh, a shift on with the next few games. Guys, I'm just going to take a very, very quick break because I need to, need to dip some loo and get a drink. And also give my eyes a little bit of a rest because it started getting a little bit funny and I don't want to have a migraine come on. So uh, I'm not I'm not getting married in bloody Bogner, bloody Regis. Good grief, Johnny boy. Bogner, Jesus. <laughs> what is the worst game? The worst game so far. Oh, that would be uh, Grand Prix Tennis, a.k.a. Lawn Tennis. Uh, ponging like an old Pong console. Got 62%. Even worse than Centre Court from Epic Soft, who did, uh, um, who made Bridget. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so uh, while I just nip to the loo and have a short, short break, guys, I'll be like two minutes. Okay. Um, what? Uh, okay, ev uh, everyone, put their favourite. What's your favourite tennis game? Could be on the Amstrad or tennis game on any system. Put them in the chat. And who's, who's your favourite tennis player of all time? Um, let us know in the chat. Just a quick discussion whilst I um, nip to the bathroom and stuff, guys. And I'll be right back with you in like two minutes, okay, guys? Be right back. So what's your favourite tennis game on the Amstrad? Or tennis game on any system of your choice? And who's your favourite tennis player of all time as well? All right. Just as a uh, conversation thing. All right. I'll be right back. And I'll read them out in uh, when I get back from the loo and get a drink and give my eyes a rest. All right, be right back.
All right, guys and girls, thank you for sticking with us there. Laser did. <laughs> All right, where was I? Let's have a look. All right, so we're asking about favorite tennis games and stuff. Um, uh, let's see. Top Spin. Oh, on the Xbox and stuff. I love Top Spin on the Xbox. Oh. Oh no, the Commodore 64 Detective is back. I think we know all know who that is. Uh oh. <laughs> OSG and Retro are talking smack about you. It, are they Commodore 64 Detective? Are they now? Are they being meanies? Are they being rude meanies about me again? Can't trust them. Thank you, Commodore 64 Detective. And Bananas in the chat for the Commodore 64 Detective, which is, of course, we all know who that is. His name is two initials. <laughs> what are they saying about me? Uh, I think, I don't know. I'm not seeing any, any, anything. I'm not seeing anything yet. Thank you, GP. Thank you, GP. <laughs> um, I'll have. A, I'll, I'll read for. I'll read on. I'll read on from Johnny Boy's post there. Top Spin Tennis. Yes, Top Spin on the Xbox was amazing. It was amazing. I really enjoyed that one. I think it was Xbox. Um, is that the one? You, is that the version you're talking about, Johnny Boy? Uh, thank you, GP. Let's give him some bananas in the chat for GP. There. Come on. Come on. Thank you, GP. Um, Andre Agassi, that he was always a favourite growing up, and then he shaved all his hair off, didn't he? <laughs> uh, Mario Tennis of the Game Boy, Fave Player Federer. Mario Tennis, yes, I love that one, uh, David. I, I was recently playing that, actually, on my Game Boy. I played it on the loo. <laughs> and I beat it on the hardest difficulty. Uh, hang on, I need to blow my nose again. Sorry, I actually mute the mic this time. Um, yes, and uh, actually one of my favourites as well, on the Game Boy Top Ranking Tennis, I remember that one. Man, that was a long game to beat. I don't think I ever got to the end of that one. Tough game. And also you had to use the select button for one of your like slice move, I think, which is awkward because you've got A and B and you have to go sort of like, yeah, on the game. Yeah, that was difficult. Philips CDI Tennis is Ginger Hippie Gaming. Good grief. Never seen that before. International tennis and the CPC, none of your biz goes for. Oh, from Zeppelin, the one we saw playing a minute ago. Right, none of your biz. You like that one? <laughs> um, um, we sports tennis. I've never actually got to play that one, but I guess that would have been a real good laugh. I can see why, OSG. Um, Tin Hemman was the best. He was the Eddie the Eagle of Tennis. <laughs> Jolly boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bless Tin Hemman. Um, um, I love the way of, we have to adopt players from other countries of a good GB tennis player. I know, it was like, was it Cam, is it, what's his name? Cameron Norris. I mean, he lost today in the semi finals, didn't he? I was like, oh my god, we got I didn't realise we did like a British tennis player doing really well. Then wasn't he like born in like South Africa, then moved to New Zealand, but was like went to school in Texas in America. I'm like, it's about as British as bloody Donald Trump, you know, or something. Good lord. Um but his parents were Scottish and Welsh or something. Um, so that's how he gets it. It's about as it's about as British as like um, it was that Canadian we had alongside Tim Hemman for a number of years. But yeah, anyway. Oh, Alex Ogier, good night, Alex. Uh, you're probably long gone now, Alex. But take care, Alex. Good night. Have a nice weekend, Alex. Um. Uh. 
Anyway, all right, we better crack on to the next game. Uh, all lot of chat to catch up with, though. Uh, Dell79, hello, Dell. How you doing, matey? Welcome, Dell. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Um, and uh, good. Oh, good night, Retrotronics as well. Good night, Retrotronics. Have a good weekend, my friend. Good night. Good night. Best place to play the Game Boy, indeed. Top ranking tennis, OSG. Top ranking tennis. How dare you? Um, sorry, I'm eventually catching up with your messages. Uh, as you do saying that I was playing Ultimate Tennis on stream earlier. The Belgian arcade game from 1993 had some weird 90s 3D effects going on. Ooh, I'll have to have a look at that. Is it on MAME? Can I play that on MAME, Zadulan? That sounds interesting. Um, that when Muzzy is a play for Turkey because he couldn't get on the England team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Greg, Greg Rosetsky. That's was that's his name. He wasn't he wasn't that great either, was he? <laughs> it's on Mame and it's the most nineties game ever. Wow. Okay. Right. Let's move on to the next game tonight. Oh, it's time for arcade conversion time. Arca oh, hang on. I need to remove me uh, thumbnail. God damn it. Right, next game. Arcade conversion time with Passing Shot. A Sega arcade game. I think uh, this is the only arcade, arcade coin of. There's some music. Image Works, published by Tech Software from Sega in 1988. Oh, FC Denhog, good night, FC. Take care, man. Have a banging, raving weekend, FC. Good night, dude. Good night. No worries, mate. No worries. Good night, FC. Could be ours, G. <laughs> when do you pass a shot in tennis? Passing shot is when you, uh, the guy is served. You do a return return shot, and oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. And it's like. Yeah, you, oh, I can't. I can't remember. I can't really remember. <laughs> you reckon it's Kevin Bacon? Anyway, let's spin on. It's not accepting the fire button press. All right, space bar then. Um, what the hell's this? Press fire button. All right, I'm the guy in blue apparently. Okay. Music was all right there. All right, let's go for easy. France in the final. Oh. What is this? Oh, my God. It switches to an overhead view. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. All right, so I have to hit the fire button. So it goes switches to an overhead view. It's like Adidas Championship Tennis, but actually you can see more of the court here. Uh. Ooh, ow. Where's the Amstrad cricket games? Oh god, I'm not doing cricket games, uh, man shovel. Passing wind! <laughs> Net! Oh no! I'm losing. 
Okay, I've got a serving down. He automatically throws the ball up for you. You just have to push a direction at the right time. Out! Break point. Basically two colour graphics. It's probably a specky port. Oh, I got it past him. It's a bit slow. It's, it's all right. No. Oh, he's out. It's all right. It's okay. Deuce. I mean, it's okay. Yes. Uh, it's okay. It's not exactly exciting. Oh no! I've screwed up. What happened to the ball there? The ball looked like it's duplicated or something. I. I don't know. Um, good lord. I don't seem to have a much range of shots available. That's going out. Bye bye. Wild's well, quite vibrant. This guy looks like he's got a mode split going on there. Mode one at the bottom there. Mode naught for the uh, at the top there for the crowd. That's going out, surely. Hey, we won a game. Um, we got a smile. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Got a smiley tennis ball. It's This is the GP of tennis. Okay, are you kidding us, says Matt Myers. I don't know. I can see more of my life passing away as I watch every second of Zyper play this awful, awful game. Jimmy Sailor says, not a great game for me. It's like an arcade game, can't remember what it's called. Like it was a cocktail cab, it was class. Yeah, this is an official arcade conversion OSG. Um, Bound of Tennis. None of you has never liked this one. Matt Myers says, this looks horrible. <laughs> GP says, is this a Tiger LCD game? There were some quality Amiga cricket games, according to OSG. Uh, talking to Manchester there. Uh, oh. All right, okay. <laughs> Pete Opal's of this respect. Maybe this game is, like, say the name of the game, but in the um, voice of um, a French police officer from Allo Allo. You get what I mean? Hello, Tactical Pirate Daz. <laughs> uh, GP said, can you make Retro walk the plank? <laughs> I don't think this is completely awful. It is slow, but it's it's not terrible, guys. Body touch. <laughs> it's slow. If, if, if it was a bit faster, it's a bit limited, isn't it? Hey, why is it called an ace? What? That's not right. I mean, uh, there's not much range of moves available, really. I can't seem to be able to pull... Up. I'll see if I can pull off a lob shot or something next. I can! I, there are... Look, I can do a lob shot. Fire and back. You can do different range of shots. Okay. You can do different shots. Fire and back does do a lob shot. You do can do different range of shots. You've got control, full control over your player. Lobbed him. Lobbed him at the net. Look at that. Uh, I think this is alright. It's just slow. <laughs> Look at the grinning tennis ball. <laughs> 
Oops. It's me serving now. I don't think this is too bad, guys. It's just slow. Oh, I should have hit that. Interlace. Hello, Interlace. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, all right. I'll set a pole up. I'll set a pole up and move on. We've got, to, we've got to get through a few more, quite a few more games. So, all right, passing shots. Um, I think this is going to either be highly ranked or playing with a busted racket. I think most people are going to go for playing with a busted racket. I reckon. Some people are going to be ponging like an old pong console. I don't think this is too bad. But like, okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Shipman smash tennis. <laughs> what? <laughs> Definitely rusty racket status. Oh, okay. How you doing, Interlays? What's this called? This is called passing shot. Passing shot. <laughs> passing wind. <laughs> Speed ME up to 150%. Getting Stockholm Syndrome, enjoying it now. Honestly, if you want a leisurely tennis game, this is the one for you, maybe. Are you if you want that something that's not nothing too intense? This or match point. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, this is the arcade conversion. This is the only arcade coin op tennis sim. Oh! You two got me there. He Batman quite likes it. Six or seven out of ten, he says. I'm not the only one then. I think Mame Hayes quite likes this. He was trying to convince uh, Hayes Maker on his stream that it was good. <laughs> and Hayes was. I, think, I don't think Hayes was having any of it either. Oh, I think I've got him. I got him. It's a tennis game for the asleep. Yeah, it's a leisurely tennis game. If you want something that's not too fast paced, this is the one for you. And otherwise, it plays perfectly fine. Those that are asking, let's put the emulation speed up to 150%. So this is at 150% speed. I mean, now you're talking. Hundred and fifty percent speed. That is much better then, isn't it? Let's put it up to 200%. 200% 200 speed. Double speed. Whoa. Now you've got a good tennis game. They've got the creepy tennis ball. <laughs> Us. Hey, Manuel. Good evening, Manuel. How you doing, Mr. Schultz and Mrs. Schultz? How's tricks? It was nice to see you on Marbles and Quake uh, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday as well. How you doing, Manuel and the Schultzes? Oh, bugger. See, this at 200% speed. This is really good. Lobbed him. There you go. Ah, oh, screwed it up. My bad positioning. 200% speed. We've got a really good tennis game on our hands. Just lob him every time at the net when he rushes. So you can do lob shots. You've got a range of shots available. And you actually have a decent tennis... Oh, poop. 
there you go. Yeah, if only it was like double the speed. If only. You can't judge it on that. You have to judge it as it plays in a real Amstrad. Body touch. Break point. Oh! Oh, he got me. Again. Ooh! You got me again. Turn ace. Can I beat him? Lobbed him. Hey! Oh, look at the creepy tennis ball. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that then. I'll pause it there. Oh no! Look at the votes! Ponging like an old Pong console. We'll end the poll there. Good grief. Even 100% it's still this slow. It needs 200, double the speed. We've got a good game. Um... Many people knew how to overclock their CPCs. Yeah, well, you can't, yeah. You can't judge it on that. Uh, that's bad if you have to speed it up that much to make it better. It's the same with like, like people rave on about match day two. That match day two is only good at double speed, really. I won't be playing this game on an emulator. Name name I definitely will be playing this game on a real amateur at regional speed. That's for sure. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Passing shot. Ponging like an old pong console. Oh, I don't think it's that bad, you guys. Really? Honestly? You cannot be serious. I'm going to have a tantrum about that. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh well, okay, we'll move on. <laughs> Is it sweaty in Switzerland? <laughs> yes, uh, we, do, we actually not long played uh, Match Point. Match Point was the previous game, actually. We're doing this in alphabetical order. So Match Point was just before this one. Uh, we would, uh, unfortunately, Manuel, you just missed it. Oh, um, okay. Uh, several people wanted this next one, actually. We're looking forward to this one. It's actually Tennis 3D next, but we're playing the UK version. Which is renamed as Pro Tennis. So it's known as uh, Tennis 3D in, in France. Uh, but uh, in the UK it was released as Pro Tennis. But if you're French, you will have known this as Tennis 3D. From uh, Laurie Seals. Okay, hopefully this is loading. Right, I'll just pause my music. Okay, no music there. Okay, cool. My volume down a touch there. Okay. Right. Uh, I'll show you the uh, box art for this, guys. Oh, I didn't show you it for the previous game, actually. So you were uh, known this as Tennis 3D from Laurie Seals. If you're from France, it's quite popular back in the day, apparently. Okay, tennis 3D. And this was released in the UK as Pro Tennis. They got a UK release as Pro Tennis. There you go. There's the UK release. Uh, Spanish release is there. There you go. And also, I didn't show you, uh, sorry, unfortunately, passing the shot uh, on the previous game. But here's the uh, box up for passing shot. 
Jesus. <laughs> drawing of that lady there. There, there was a passing shot uh, artwork. If anybody was interested in that one. Not a great box art. It actually got re-released on the Encore budget label, interestingly enough. Wow. Okay, they picked up the image work stuff. Interesting. Huh. I never knew that, that game on the Encore budget label. Right, there you go. There's the Spanish one. Anywho, anywho. Right, anyway, let's pop back over. Right. You better copyright claim for Tennis Patino already. <laughs> what was that on? With the music or the, uh, the the video footage? Wow. Uh, eye instruction. Uh, CC commands. Uh... Oh, I'll just press enter to start. Okay. Hopefully, it's a one-player game. Oh, oh, look at this. Move the arrow in front of the selected option. On set. Press for A. Okay. One player. So, little grass court. Right. How do we start? How do I? Left delete last character. Copy, enter the name. Oh, that will do. Enter to play. Oh, let's just bloody play. Oh, okay. I'm in. Uh, I'm the player in blue at the me at the bottom there. Okay. Right. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> oh, you've been on the night. You've been on the night of red wine tonight, Manuel. Nice Chianti, maybe. I uh, metal play for okay with that font for a second. Yeah, the font was a bit interesting there. Put it in Discord. I'll delete the video now before I get put in YouTube prison. <laughs> What was the claim for? Which part? What, what was it for the music he used or the actual video footage or something? Right, so I'm in blue. Plays a bit like match point this, doesn't it? Very simple tennis game. I don't really get where the 3D comes into it, but a very early uh, tennis game though this one. I think this is 1985 this came out. Trying to see if I could do a like a lob shot or anything. Did I try and direct the ball to the left? No. I don't get how you can direct the ball on this. Okay. Feels more like a game of Pong than it does like tennis at the moment. June 1986. Thank you, Malamert. Oh my god. This is like what? This is like the first point. And this is going on forever. I mean, it's okay. It's bright and colourful. I'll give it that. Oh, 
Oh, that he knocked it out. Yay! Finally. Oh, look at this! At the net action. Excitement. <laughs> or not. Oh, he's gone back to like lurking at the back of. Can I please just smash it? Smash it! Oh, that, did that go in? It did. It went in. Oh, you cheeky bugger. Oh, he got, he got that in there. No, I wanted to hit it the other way. But the crowd goes wild. <laughs> oh, we swapped ends. there the game has changed its name to pro tennis actually okay that's interesting <laughs> uh, oh actually yeah that's is this what it was called in the uk uh yeah actually that is the right name sorry it's the uk name pro tennis that's right um so what are you thinking to this one then um okay let me just check the uh date again on this one so tennis 3d Pro tennis, yes, 1980. Actually, no, 1985. Uh, this has it listed on CPC Power, but like Madam Matt Fix, this was June 86. This came out. Um, Deeper Cauldron Tennis Simulator, what square tennis rackets? Yeah, <laughs> even the cat has fallen asleep. <laughs> Rich on them, meanwhile, the cat be chillings as interlaced. Uh, be good if a cat jumped up on the court and started hitting the ball players. Mm. Uh, cat looks like Flip or has a cheeky look. Keeps popping in Zypho's boots. This is a re-skinned version of Arcanine. I know, the first match was just like a, basically a Pong clone, really. the first When we first started playing, it was just like Pong, and then I got bored and just rushed the net all the time. Um... Yeah. Mm. Is it even possible to beat the CPU? It looks like it is. It's just... Uh, what can we say about this one? I don't know. It's just an early tennis game. It's an early tennis game. And it was probably decent for its time. But it has aged like fine milk. <laughs> um it's not gonna be one of the best tennis games but back in the day i think like you know like with the uh, am amsoft's um center court it was like your best tennis option at the time then then came then came you know match point which was like then the king for a while a bit like match day you know a uh, match day two like, that was the king of football games. Match point became the king of like tennis games for a while. Until Emlyn Hughes and Micropro Soccer came along. And it was just like, yeah. That made them all look a bit old and creaky. I'll put a poll up in the chat. I don't think there's much more to see from this tennis game. Oh! I found a trick, guys. You can just hold down the fire button. Oh, no. Lobbed him. I found a trick. You can just hold down the fire. Position yourself. Hold down the fire button. And it works. As long as you're near the ball, roughly near the ball, it will work. Oh, 
I screwed up there. The poll is in the chat. If you want to vote for this one, get enough votes so we can move on to the next game. So get voting. Oh, that didn't work that time. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, oh no, I was, I was out there. I thought that was a good return there from me. Actually, I knocked it just out there. It's weird how you can't really direct the ball very well on this. What? How did that get over me there? This might be fun in two players though, I think. I, I like the perspective of the court. You can see all the action. Yeah, it looks nice enough. Oh, drop shot. Kind of. <laughs> oh, bugger it. Basic center court ha center court has more depth. Mm, don't know if about that. I don't know about that. This one is definitely better than center court. Definitely better than center court. Hundred percent better than center court. I'm disappointed his life isn't in the tight white shorts for GP. I did have, I did think about maybe dressing up. I do have tennis gear somewhere because I used to play tennis. Whoa, what was going on there? I do, did used to play tennis a few years, many, many years back. Uh, I've no idea where my tennis gear has gone. The tennis rackets are in the shed somewhere. I know that. Which player is I? I'm in the blue. I'm in the blue. Sorry, I thought I'd pointed that out earlier. <laughs> Right. Anyway, should we end the poll there? Only 19 votes. One more vote and I'll end the poll and move on to the next game. Same with a busted racket. I think that's fair. I don't think he's, I don't think this is utterly terrible. I think you were meanies. I think you were meanies about passing shot. Though. But yeah. Proud cheer there. <laughs> right, 20 votes now. Right, let's move on. There we go. Let's wait for the crowd cheer and animation sound. Yeah, yeah, interlace. Yeah, yeah, agreed. All right, cool. Move on then. Right, where's my. Let me get the poll results there saved in my document. Oh, moving on to one of the ones I used to play a lot as a kid, actually, now. We went to a Codemasters game. Used to play regularly till I dislocated my shoulder, and now I play it. If I play it, it pops out again and knackers. Really? Oh, that's a shame, OSG. I discovered that Hazemaker plays tennis and still plays. And we agreed that me, uh, me and Hayes will play tennis together one day. Oh man, if I could find someone else from the Amstrad community that plays tennis, like an um, like, imagine if Novabug plays tennis. You could like team up with Hayes. I could team up with like Novabug, and we could like an Amstrad versus Commodore 64 doubles tennis match. That'd be amazing. But like, like you've got a knackered shoulder. Oh, that'd be cool. We could stream it. <laughs> imagine, just imagine. 
Then again, I haven't played tennis in about like probably nearly ten years. So I'd be I'd be tennis. Anyway, time for some pro tennis simulator from Codemasters. I used to play a lot of this. I quite like this one. Arnie the Viking. Good evening, Arnie. Welcome, Arnie. Retro and Lim likes this one, I think, don't you? Crack throw there. Skip that. Play with the other arm, I was G. Yeah, because that's exactly how tennis works, uh, Jolly Boy. Whoa, look at the... um. <laughs> look at the hair on this guy. Is that Gary Glitter? <laughs> that is quite the um, perm and hairdo on that guy there. Moving swiftly on. Alvin Star Smash. <laughs> He's angry at that ball, yeah. Yeah, he's a bit Mega Man-ish as well. City Sparkle. Oh no, Craig! Oh no! Um, your hacked Xbox 360 will not boot. Ooh. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Let me get it sorted. I have no idea on that. Code entry letter B1. Oh, it's, I've got the hack version here as well, so. Uh, oh, God, I remember this. <laughs> oh, good times. One second, guys. Oh, thanks for like a second. Start game, we can play with both hands. He's ambidextrous, really. But generally, though, he'll, he'll have favour one arm, one arm will get better than the other. Obviously, ridiculous loading screen there, yeah. Right, one player, I'll go medium. Wait, we'll start a game, right? Oh, we're on grass here, okay. Okay, so I'm at the top of the I'm at the top there serving guys. Nice and colourful. I like how they've done into the border colours there. They try to match the wall there with colours in the border, bless them. An umpire there calling out there. That's cool. Used to net. Good lord. Okay. Yeah, this was quite good fun, I remember. Uh oh. Double fault. <gasps> oh, you cheeky bogger. I remember this being quite hard. I used to play this a lot as a kid. Hey, Lucas. How you doing, Lucas? Welcome, mate. How's tricks? What have you been up to? Um, do you reckon the hard disk has gone in it, um, Craig? Or something. Uh, new balls for Lucas. Good grief. What have you been up to, Lucas? Oh, man. I should have done that. I tried a hard serve there. Deuce. Why is he an umpire and disabled little trolley? <laughs> I 
Had a few in the local, mate. Nice. Had a good evening. Has it been a good sesh? I expect the mod ship is pooched. Oh, no. Out. Oops. It's quite a good little tennis game, this. It is. I remember this is quite a tough game, but you do have a few levels of difficulty on this to play with novice medium and expert we've gone on uh medium difficulty here hey i won the game awesome out there we go i did smash that though I like the speed of the ball because it's not so fast the ball because it actually the court is actually quite small in it looks quite small in size because of how the perspective is the ball doesn't go that it doesn't go too fast it gives you time to position so the speed of the ball is just right for the perspective view to allow you time to get into position if you know you know what I mean they've got that just right, I think. Yeah! But then you can smash it and it goes absolutely like like a ballistic missile. Ooh! Hit me the knackers! That was a knacker cracker. Oh, he's aced me. It's weird though, when they serve, they don't do like an overarm serve. It, it, they like smack it from underneath. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Oh, apologies for that. <gasps> Oof! Out. All right. Uh, hi, guys. It would be cheeky of me to ask to join the Tuber's high score. Or just like watching the very games that you lot play. No! Yeah, you got the right person here. Lucas is the guy that runs it. Fly Sprite reminds me of Ikari Warriors. <laughs> Does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like two Rambos playing against each other. <laughs> Oot. Why are the crowd tickets to Nick... Uh, why are the crowd tickets to Nick Noel gigs? What, GP? Um... Out. There we go. Yes, yeah, it's not a bad little tennis game. I used to play a ton of this as a kid. What are we thinking, guys and girls? Are we liking the look of this one? The game must be good. The graphics, uh, okay, but there's not much to look at here. I know, yeah. Maybe not the most exciting one. I know um, I was watching Hazemaker on his Twitch stream on, uh, I think it was Wednesday. Oh, that's out. There you go. And he was playing this on the Commodore 64. And it's pretty much identical on the Commodore. I think game speed, gameplay, graphics, sound and all that. Uh, I think Amstrad and Commodore 64 are basically neck and neck on these versions. Uh, he was really enjoying this. He was playing it for ages. Oh, hit my body there. And he, he, he really liked this. I remember playing a ton of this as a kid. Oh, no! Ah! Uh, nice shot on the ball. No scaling at all, though. Nah. I would expect any scaling on any of these games. The last game I can remember of sprite scaling, uh, Craig, was bloody Pit Fighter. And look what happened with that. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah. It's good to have a shot. The, the shadow on the ball is really, really important. Oh, man. Screw that up there. Because obviously it's really important for your positioning. See where the ball's going. Out advantage player one. My body there. It gets some actually some nice rallies on the go on this one. Oh, nice overhead smash from him. All right, okay, let's set up a pole for this one. I like this. I like this. This is one of the better tennis games, I think. Personally. Right, we better spin on, actually. We're getting a bit late at night. Um, is it one of the best tennis games on the Amstrad? It's getting... It's getting up there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And I think you could have two-player. There was, I think there was definitely a two-player option on the uh, title screen as well, wasn't there, guys? So, poll is up there, guys, if you want to vote on this one. Anyway. Hayes is a great watch. Of course he is. Of course. Someone check if the ref is still awake. He has a beautiful muscle. <laughs> tennis international scale. Uh, tennis, international tennis scale. The ball. Oh, right. Okay. The ball scale. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I would see, I would see the, I would expect the player sprites to be scaled, but a ball scaling, yeah, I could see that happening, Craig. Yeah, uh, good point, good point, Craig. Yeah. Uh, OSG says I've got to go now. Have a great week, uh, rest of the stream, everyone, and even about weekend in the sun, night, night. Good night, OSG. <laughs> Thank you for your tennis pastino. Pest oh, I can't even pronounce it. Tennis patino video, <laughs> and for the laugh. Cheers, mate. <laughs> OSG is one of the best YouTubers. That is very true, GP. That is very true. Um, uh, run a couple of games, but that oh, chat looks like something Connie first has knocked up in the car. <laughs> have a god and shit. Yeah, it's like rocket boosters on it at some point or something. Anyway, have a great weekend, OSG. All the best to new style gaming in the fam. Take care, man. Have a good one. Take care, dude. Uh, none of you business. It's okay. This one court is too small. There's no serving action. I think you can do a range of serves, but like I, I'm playing it safe because it's really hard to do a good serve. Uh, none of your biz. I've just been playing it safe. But you can do aces and stuff. Uh, none of your biz. Let's try a hard serve. Okay. Oh, I, I think I did actually get an ace there. What? Oh, I hit him in the body. What you love? Actually, even though a serve was going miles out, it hit him in the body. I got a game. There you go. So there are a range of serves you can do. It looks ridiculous because he looks like he's hitting it on us. It looks. It looks like he's like doing like an underarm serve. So it's a shame that the animation on the uh... what? <laughs> It's shame, it's shame that like, this serve looks so ridiculous, like he's doing an underarm serve. There's actually quite a large hit range and hitbox for hitting the ball. Unlike on that um, international tennis from Zeppelin. You can see that. Look, I can, look, how much, look how far away I can still hit the ball. Ah. Oh, Wish I, I wish I was on Zypho's lappy. <laughs> what? Hey, Tom Davis. Hello, Tom. Good to see you, mate. Uh, how's tricks, man? Pretty decent, this. That's international tennis. Uh, yes, we have. You thought that was horrific. Um, I thought the uh, 3D was more of a novelty thing and the gameplay was a bit average, if I'm honest, for a tennis game. 
A lot of people love that one, and I'm told there's more depth to the gameplay than I thought. But, um... We thought it was okay. And this is a good little budget game. Anyway, um, we're going to end the poll in a second. God damn it. Um, some people don't like this one. Playing with a busted racket. 22%. Wimbledon champion worthy. 22%. How many votes? We've got 23 votes. Actually, there's quite a few better voting this time. Damn it. Next. Ooh, try again there. How you doing, Tom? It's good to see you again, my friend. Go to you all. I know. It gets a bit, when it gets a bit late, Arnie, people get a bit like, can't be asked to vote. It's okay. It happens. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Should we end the poll there? I suppose we ought to move on. I kind of want to play more of this. That's the, that's the problem. This is, I'm actually having quite a good fun with this. Oh, I lost a match there. He broke me. Oh, my. Uh, this game was in, was in the first issue of AI I ever got. Uh, March 1990 or so. Really? Oh no! Computer took the set. Uh, many people with no hands or to put it on the wank. Oh my goodness, GP. Oh, I'm serving at the bottom of the screen now. Oh! <laughs> but the Amsterdam version of Pete Sampras Tennis. Oh, it's really weird now I'm at the bottom of the screen. It's like I've lost all comprehension of like my positioning and hit. Oh, God. It's still a really good tennis game. I like how you can still hit the ball after it's like... Uh, you've lost the point. It's weird. Now you switch around on the on the core. It's... It, it all... Everything's all weird now. Match to player two. And we lost. There you go. You can have a two-player game. There you go. All right. We'll end the poll then. All right. Did enjoy that one. That's cool. That's cool. Better move on though. Oh, okay. Oh, so a few big ones coming up as well. Okay. Oh, before we do, um I never showed you this. I am my apologies, boys and girls. The uh, box art for this. There's the box art. Uh, if I can zoom that in. That was the box art for this. Good grief. That looks like... Um, I don't think who that looks like. That looks like bloody... Um, The singer from Queen Strike, if anyone knows the band Queen Queen Strike, like Jeff from Queen Strike. Not many people know who I'm talking about, though. But there you go. There's the box art for all that. Um. Anyway, there you go. Next game. All right, the next game tonight. Oh, right. Okay. Next game is. <laughs> Pro Tennis Tour. Looks like John Delancey did a bit, yeah. Uh, Pro Tennis Tour. Also known as Great Court. Oh, no. Oh, God. I've got to get a manual up for this one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I thought I'd get the I thought I'd get the official um discs for these. 
All England Championship 94 to 9. Please enter the password C manual for fart's sakes. Um. Bear with me a second. Wigan Championships 1949. What the fuck? Oh, I found it. Okay, hang on. 1949 FR Schroeder Hang on FR What the fuck? What? What are you going to 80? Alright, okay, so you just want the surname. Supposed to enter, oh, okay. Oregon Championship 1891. Hey, we're in. We're in. Thank Christ for that. Okay. Oh, list of respect, you were lucky for me. Thank you. Thank you. So, we'll have a short play of this because we've got a better version of this game coming up on the GX4000 console. Philip Schofield. <laughs> Thank you, GP. Oh, Jimmy Taylor, are you off, Jimmy? Oh, sorry, Jimmy, did I miss a message there? Uh, gonna call you tonight. Good to see you all. You have a great weekend. Take care, as life. Have a great stream as always. Thank you, mate. Uh, catch up soon. Have a great weekend, pal. All the best, Jimmy. Take care, Jimmy. And take care, Jane, as well. All the best uh, to you both. Have a great weekend, Jimmy and Jane. Take care. Lots of love to you both. See you soon, guys. Uh, exactly. Looks like Harry Potter high on metal to show that golden snitches boss. <laughs> <laughs> lovely Arnie, lovely. And Interlace, thank you for that as well. If anybody is interested, cool, cool, cool. Um, and Jimmy, sorry if I missed you saying goodnight there. I hope you heard me say that there. What's a chirpy chip tune? Yes. And here we go. Pro Tennis Tour, also known as Great Court. I'm serving at the bottom there. Oh, God. Chunky mode, nor colourful graphics here, boys and girls. Uh, what can I say about this one so far? Oh, I've got an itch. Um, a bit squashed in. Uh, quite a small court. Uh, the perspective is yeah, okay. Um, Cliff is the umpire. Check him out. Is he? He does look a bit Cliff like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, are any of these budget games are all full price? No. We've had a mix. The last one was a budget game. That was a Co-Masters one, Lucas. This one was a full price release. Now, on this one, uh, this game, you kind of uh, move your plane to position. And then you hold down the fire button. And then you release the fire button to swing. So it's kind of like hold down the fire, swing. And then you hope your positioning was right. Oh, I just lost the, lost the game there. See, I couldn't go far enough right there. Uh, left there, I mean. 
it's all a little bit too fast. I was never a big fan of this one, if I'm honest. I've always wanted to like this one. You don't really have a great deal of control over your shots. Or your serve, really. So when you serve, you get a little crosshair. But you can't... You never really was able to really do much of your serve. Move it left and right a little bit. Hang on, guys. I'm getting a little bit of like flashing lights in my vision. Oh no, I don't want to have migraine coming on. I've had a really good run recently without any ocular migraines. And tonight I've had a few, uh, I've had a couple of moments where I'm like, hmm. Uh oh. See so what? Let me get. Um, let me just go on and get um, a drink from the fridge. Give me eye. Give me eye a rest. Let me get a drink from the fridge. Just sometimes just taking like uh, just a minute away from the screen just like resets things. I think there was like a migraine just trying to push its way through there. That's when I got a fresh drink from the fridge. Hopefully it'll be okay now. That player sprite, is it female? It does look like it's got it's got a little bit of a white thing sticking out the front of himself there, yeah. I don't know why that he's added. I think it's supposed to be his arm. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird they've added that extra few pixels there. Um, <laughs> yeah, migraines suck. I really do. I think a lot of us now are starting, when we hit our late 30s, 40s, and stuff, quite a few of us are starting to get them now. Don't worry, interlace. I've just got used to it now, man. They've, I've, I've had these going on now for about three years. I mean, this is quite a popular tennis game, and uh, but I, I've, I don't know why I've, I, I, I've not. Been a huge fan of it as such. I just don't feel there's like a great deal of control 
uh, over your shots, over your player. You can't really do lob shots. Um, you can't do spin or anything like that. I don't think I've ever scored an, uh, an ace from a serve. You, you don't really get to do... You never really have any rallies, proper like long rallies with your opponent. Like basically, it lasts maybe one, two, two, and that's it. That's your rally over sort of thing. Um... It's all over very quickly. You feel like quite claustrophobic in the court as well, if you know what I mean. It was all a bit messy. It's a comp it's an okay uh, and competent tennis game, but it feels a bit lacking. What do you reckon? So what I'm gonna do, guys, because we've got another version of this game coming up straight um, straight after. We've got the GX4000 version of this to look at. So I'm going to put this one up. Um, at the pole up straight away. Uh, and we're going to move on to the GX4000 next. Which is, I'll tell you what, is the better version of it. Okay. So we can vote on this one now straight away if you want. Plus time is ticking on. And I've got a few more games to get through tonight. The poll is up. Now read the chat there a little bit as well. Um, screen is hurting his eyes. He's trying to hurt our ears. What's going on here? I tried to. Hurt, did I hurt your ears? What did I do there, Matt? Sorry. Did I did I do a loud squeaky noise or something like that? <laughs> Scale of the sprite and the court is all wrong. I know it's not. They've not got it quite right, have they? 40 is too old. Twitch streaming is for young people like Ashens. I think Ashens is older than me, I think. Uh, Tactical Pirate says, I'm 15, get free viewers if I'm lucky. I'm going to stop doing those hot tub streams. Maybe you should start doing more top hot tub streams. I don't know. If they says, trust me, I know the feeling. It can really wreck your day. You ran it for four and a half. Uh, yeah, four and a half hours now. 15 minute break every now and then might help prevent it a bit in these streams. I've had a, I did have a, I did have a, I have had a longish break. Um, I kind of got used to it and know when to have a little walk away from the screen. Um, I, I, I probably need to have a few more, just like a minute or two away from the screen every now and again. And I, it's about the brightness levels. It's about like, I need to, to adjust something here actually. Um, I need to keep the brightness down and it's static like, Blocks of text and bright bold colours blaring into my eyes that I need to be careful of interlace weirdly. I think like uh, like basically like bright uh, bright lights and stuff like that is a bit of a trigger for my mi migraines and stuff. Anyway, yeah, GP, you need to be a live streamer. I'd watch it as well, Retro on Limb. All right, some votes coming in there. Do we get to just like quickly to, like maybe to, like around about twenty votes? Highly ranked, 40%. Playing with Busted Racket, also on 40%. Interesting. Virtue Tennis. That's a good tennis game. Surprised no one mentioned that earlier. We were talking about uh, favourite tennis games on my break. Right, I'll have a quick... Uh... Ugh. It's nicely presented there. I like the umpire. You got the crowd there. Got the ball boy. I got the net net judge there moving his head. The umpire moves his head as well. You got the um, the judges at the back there calling the ball out, moving their arms and stuff. It's nicely presented and all that. I've done a lot right there. You got the uh, computer opponent charging the net sometimes. Oh, I'm in the lead actually now. Don't worry, in front of an actual CRT, present light. Oh, ah, hang on. Uh, 
Um, anyway. Oh, you did mention virtual tennis. Sorry, none of your beers. I apologise. I apologise. You did mention it. Sorry, none of your beers. Life, are you in front of an actual CRT? Fluorescent lighting, prescription may be a bit off, and straining on a small screen. All the things make a difference. Hope you don't bother you too much. So, uh, I've done I've done the whole thing with screens. Um, I've, I spent a lot of money getting a uh, nice monitor. With um, I keep it. I try to keep it as far away from me as I can. That's comfortable. Um, the high refresh rate, and it's got like like inbuilt uh, blue screen filters, the best in the business. They're on maximum. And the brightness, I've uh, got really good uh, brightness and uh, gamma is like down as low as I can possibly get it, which is comfortable and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've been through all that. I do have some lights that are on me to light me up, but they're filtered and I've got like an umbrella like around it and stuff like that. I've got it just right so it's just out of like my eye line and it's just lights me up enough for the green screen and stuff like that. So I'm all good. But yeah, I've had a good play of that. Um, right, okay, so we'll end that poll there. Flame of a... Yeah. Oh, Tactical Pirate Daz. Good night, my friend. <laughs> Take care, man. Happy sailing on the high seas. And uh, we'll see you again soon, dude. All right, that will do for Pro Tennis Tour, the Amstrad CPC version. Well, what's it like on the GX4000, I wonder? All right, let's switch over to our um... <clears throat> Pardon me, excuse me guys Okay, let's switch over to our uh, GX4000 uh, Just turn off the Amstream logo there And we're going to bring up Pro Tennis Tour On the GX One second Need to get the right cart here. Right, where are you? Notice it says Great Courts there as well. So I don't know about this whole name thing. So originally, originally it was released as Great Courts, but then also then renamed as Pro Tennis Tour. I should have brought up the... Oh, what happened there? Went straight into a demo mode. As you can see, it's looking a lot better already on the GX4000. So, this was the original box art, right? For the previous game. That, so there you go, Great Courts it was released as. But then re later re released as Pro Tennis Tour. But I don't understand the whole naming thing that's going on here. Pro Tennis Tour, same box art, but from Great Courts, Pro Tennis Tour, no one knows, I don't think anyone quite knows why, and of course we've got the GX4000 version we are looking at here, and of course most of you have seen the box art for that, there you go, back over. Hello, Simmy. Hey, Simmy. How you doing, man? A late appearance from Simmy. What have you been up to this Friday evening? Oi, oi, Simmy. <laughs> right. As you can see, guys, we get a lot more of the screen now. And we've got updated graphics. And much better animated sprites. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that. We don't want two players. You can have two players on this. Let's just reset there quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can crash the game by moving the... <laughs> I forgot about that. If you move the um, selector down too far, you can crash the game. Isn't that amazing? Let's just reset that. <laughs> Nothing special, Washi Ducks, but the New Age Outlaws. You want the New Age Outlaws? Did you see that, guys? So if you move the selector down, right, go past demo, you crash the game. <laughs> Sorry, I love that. 
Amazing. Reset. Right, I got him. a tournament then. Oh, skip past that. Okay. Look at the improvement here, though, guys. I think it's been slowed down a touch, and I think that makes it a lot better. He's got a much bigger court to play in as well. I think the, first, the original game was a little bit too fast. It was too fast and furious. It didn't allow for a good tennis match. The ball's a nicer colour now. And I think we've got hardware sprites on the go. They have a much nicer looking sprite and animation. Although I think the umpire and at the outs around the edges of the court are the same graphics. But it doesn't look half look a lot nicer. The diagonal lines do still look a bit rough though. I yeah, I agree with you. Oh we won a we won a match. And actually, we're getting a bit more of a rally going. And actually, this is not a bad tennis game now. But it's still got the same issues. You can't really do a range of shots. Like, I want to lob him. I can't do a lob shot by, like, doing fire and down or something like that to lob him. You're still limited... All you can do is hold down the fire button and release. And it's all to do with your positioning on the court. Uh, who are the New Age Outlaws? Only the best tag team of the WWF Attitude Era. Oh, sorry. I, 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 like WWF, WWE wrestling and stuff is just like one of the things I could never find myself getting into. I tried. I tried to get into WWF and wrestling and stuff like that. I, I, it's it's just a it's just a thing that never clicked with me. I could never get over the fact that I knew it was all kind of. I I'm gonna say it. I could never get over the fact that I knew it was all kind of scripted. I know it's kind of half not half is, and it's like I know how like amazingly talented and like how much skill is involved and all that. I just. I, it just niggles me at the back of my mind going, I know it's kind of all fate in, in a way and not, but not, I, yeah, I could never get over that. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I know. I know there's so much talent and it's so, so, it, it's, so it's so much fun. I know for a while I did get into it in the early 90s at the height of Hulk Mania and the British Bulldog and... Um, I think I, I remember watching one around a friend's house and British Bulldog won something and he won a title and that was really exciting and I got the WWF game for Christmas, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to get the whole discussion about wrestling and stuff. Anyway, because I'll upset someone. I tried to get... Uh, and then I lost interest and then I tried to get into it and when I got older, I just couldn't. I couldn't. But, like, if you enjoy it, that's good for you. Really, really. But, yeah. Um, tell Chris Benoit it's scripted. Who's he? Is that someone who will beat my ass or something? Yeah, no spoilers for Retro on Name and Stranger Things. Yeah, I watched the finale uh, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Wow. Wow. Your extra shots from the second button and the directional pad. Seriously? Oh, hang on. Are you sure, Craig? At Richard Parliament, isn't that Top Hat Gaming Man's wrestling name? <laughs> you take that back, you uncivilized reprobate. Wrestling is real, and if you don't accept it, I'm going to give you an old fashioned education. Education, <laughs> education. <laughs> Thank you. I think that was that was man shovel. <laughs> Bananas in the chat there for man shovel. Thank you, man shovel. Been a gift shovel there, posing as Richard Parliament. 
aka the Top Hat Gaming Man. That's t the Top Hat Gaming Man's like wrestling name. <laughs> oh, Lister of Smeg. Careful, careful now. <laughs> Uh, a little thing that I don't like, the way the game cuts as soon as you, the point is lost. Yeah, yeah, I like the code there's a bit of leeway before the game snaps to the next point, it's a little bit more polished. Yes, good point, Tom, there's those little things that matter. Oh, no, it's like he killed his wife, did he? Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. See, I don't know all that sort of sort of stuff as well. Uh, Matt says, yeah, that bothered me too, Zypher, my younger brother loved watching the 80s, I can never get into it myself. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to put and uh, make anyone feel bad for uh, like watching it and enjoying it and stuff. Got extra shots from the second button and direction pad. Are you sure, Craig, for this one? Are you sure? Oh, look at the manual. Uh, God, that's just thrown me a curveball. Sure, it's all off one fire button. That's blown my mind. I'm gonna have a look. I'll get the manual up. Boys come to the side of the cup, just finally enjoy it, swing, race it, turn the shot. No. <laughs> Literally, instructions like. Uh. Oh, button joystick. You simply move the joystick. Choose one. Okay. So, right. Um, literally the smallest instructions ever for a tennis game. The voice comes to your side of the court. Press five button joystick to swing. Raise it to return the shot. Right. I don't think so. Right. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, second firewood's not doing anything. Oh, I could direct that one there. I think you have more control over your shots on this version than you do on the Amstrad CPC one. Although I've mucked that up there. Um, oh, what's Zypho's wrestling name? Oh, God, it's just going to involve Ewoks. That's all that everyone's going to come up with. I, I haven't even looked down the chat after you said that. Oh, look, there's a rotatey spinny tennis ball. God, I'm getting memories of passing shot now. The shadow of the ball even shrinks and expands in that little animation. Oh, does it? All right. I'm going to be so psyched when, uh, when Richard and I meet up at Blackpool, we're going to suplex everyone. <laughs> Thank you again, Gift Shovel. All right. Oh, it was your imagination, was it, Interlace? Oh, okay. Uh, tell us these times to breathe a bit. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll assemble the poll now for this one. Right, okay, Pro Tennis Tour GX1000 version. Let me set the poll. I think that this is miles, sign, sign, miles better, significantly better than the uh, Amsterdam CPC version by, uh, yeah, quite a significant amount. Um, is it one of the best uh, tennis games on the Amstrad? Quite possibly. Uh, I think the size of the court and the presentation does add a lot to it. But it is quite limited. There's not many uh, options. There's no real options for controlling your shot. You can't do lobs or anything like that. That's a shame. 
but it is fun and it is actually good really good fun in two players i i remember playing this with a mate of mine and it is quite good really good fun in two players although it sucks if you're at the, the player at the top of the screen i will say It's all a bit, maybe a little bit too simple, but it does, I think, look the best tennis. It's probably the best graphically look, the best graphically tennis game. Did you get the point there? You did. That looked that look out to me. Graphically is the best looking one. I mean, you need to be able to do a lob shot there, and you can't do lob shots. Ooh. Uh, the poll is up in the chat. If you want to vote? Oh, man. But yeah, it kind of sucks that you can't do lob shots. If there was a way... If, if only they utilised a the second fire button... As a way to do like a lob shot or something like that. Because he does like the computer does rush the net. That would be awesome. I voted highly rated, um, says Retro and Liam. Mm. Chippies do lots of Ewok friendly things. <laughs> Ass. Ooh, Wimbledon champion worthy. First time that's, I think that's come out in the, I think that's the first time, the first game that's come out in the lead on that. Time we are. Oh, I need to move on soon, though. How many votes have we got in at the moment? Fifteen votes. Come on, let's have a let's have at least five more votes on this one. Get to twenty votes. Stop being lazy, lazy buggers. Get votes in. <laughs> Move is too janky, but he's handling it. It's relatively smooth. The movement, I'd say. It's smoother than the Amstrad CPC version, and we've got a larger playing area. Oh, did you get the point there? He did. Cheeky bugger. Yeah, that was definitely out. Ass. Oh, serving is disappointing as well, because you can never really do a good serve uh, and get an ace from it. Uh, what are we up to? 16 votes? Come on, let's have a few more votes, guys. We've got nearly 40 people on the stream. We've got 16 votes. Game just needs a bit of refinement. Yeah, it needs a bit extra. A lob shot is essential. They got the they got the base tennis game here, and then they went like, "That'll do. Leave it there, lads." And that's a shame. They could have added a bit more for the GX four thousand version. You voted, but that's because you're not drunk. All right, I probably have to end the poll there then. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh well. Alright, I'm leaving the poll there then. Because, uh. We have uh, got some more games to get through and it's late. And I've probably misjudged the time on this again. Bloody hell. Actually, we've got like several more games to go. Shoot. Right. And we've got two more. Uh, there's a GX4000 game coming up as well. So there you go. That was Pro Tennis Tour. 
And if I just remove that for a sec. Okay, uh, let's go back to this. Okay, next game of the night. So, Pro Tennis Tour, sorry, got Wimbledon Champion Worthy, 52%. Highly ranked, 55%. And then 5% for playing with a busted bracket and ponging like an old Pong console. Hmm. There we go. Right, next game. Simulador Professional de Tennis from Dynamic Software, which translates to Professional Tennis Simulator. A Spanish one, right. And then we got essentially got two more games after that. Crap. And they've got 10 minutes left on the stream, essentially. I said I'd finish at 2 tonight, but oh well. We'll crack on. Ooh. Oh, nice. Got a nice intro music here. This got a budget re-release in the UK, but we don't have a scan of the box art for this on CC Power website. Uh, I think it's got a recently re-released in the UK as Professional Tennis Simulator, but I don't know who the budget re-release -re was by. Sounds like a it sounds like a music you'd find on a dizzy game. I'll show you the box art. Actually, I wonder if CPC Rules is a box uh, box art scan of this. Hang on, let's have a look. Uh, nah, they just got the Spanish one. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Okay. So it's got a very, very, very rare um, tape version, uh, uh, budget release on uh, UK. Actually, we've got the tape. Uh, we might have to use that. Oh, man. Maybe we should actually do the tape version. Maybe I can maybe I can load the tape version up and get the UK one going. Actually, uh... hang on. How many seven turbos there? Bar tape. Play. Okay. And we'll load up the UK version. I'll put it. I'll, I'll just put the turbo speed on. We should be able to get through this. Uncle Ron, hello, Uncle Ron. Uh, uh, Gleetings to you too. Hang on, is this loading? It is. Enjoy the tape loading noise for just for a second. We might be able to find out who released this in the UK, actually. Might get a, a notice of which company re-released re this in the UK. Right, let's put the speed up. Let's put it up to 500% or something. Alright, no, screw it. 1,000%. Okay, last block of data. Be there any second.
There we go. There we go. It's loaded. Let me just put it back down to normal speed. Right. And I'll take a snapshot there. Just in case we ever need to come back to it. Professional tennis. What what the frick was this called again? Professional tennis simulator loaded from tape. Alkaline soft and dynamic. Oh, okay. Select equipment. What? Okay. Nick Soul. Why do I have to select a, a racket? Uh, one for controls. What? Oh, let's just go. Number of players, one. Uh, start season, okay. Ah! Two continue tournament. I'm glad I... Awesome. I'm glad I did the UK version because I would never have got through this. I'm glad I... Right, otherwise I would have got, got stuck here. Well, Matt, if I hadn't loaded the UK version, I would have got stuck and I would have had a, done Google Translate for all of that. And it would have taken a long, not much longer, probably. Oh, Real Odie. Good night, Real Odie. Take care, Odie. Thanks for being here tonight, my friend. Take care. Have a great weekend. Just it one. Right, okay, we're good. Zypho versus Boris Becker. Look at him dancing at the top of the court there. The music isn't very tennessy. Mm. <laughs> Bolt of Zypho. Wow. I'm serving at the bottom there. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. I can't hit a ball there. Um, it's not bad, this. Mission scene there. God damn it, I'm losing to Boris Becker. Your fault. <laughs> Zypho versus Bojo, Yaki Sax blast in the background. Is that what you'd like to see, man, Shovel? Nancy, because he's out of prison to play you. <laughs> oh yeah! Poor Boris Becker. I'm at the top here. I'm at the top of the court. Oh my god. That's hard to judge. That's really hard to judge. You swing, you swing quite slowly. Oh, I got it! You have to swing a lot sooner than you think. Wow! I aced him! Bolt of Boris Becker. I 
I've got two aces. Three aces. What's going on? And he spooned it out. I won a game! Yay! Uh, a Coca-Cola break. This is actually quite nice. I quite like this. It's bloody hard. It's maybe a little bit on the slow side, Ron. Yeah. I like, I, I like this. It's kind of cute. Bugger! Not a big hit. But... Oh, God. It's really hard to position yourself, though. Maybe, maybe too hard. Like, good grief, cheapy. Same issue with what was that game earlier? Where they like the oh that um Zeppelin Games one, the budget one. The hitbox radius when you swing your racket is just tiny. It needs to be wider to give you more chance of hitting the ball. You have to swing like a lot earlier than you think you have to. There's something off about It's really hard to judge the angle of the ball. It sort of doesn't go where you're expecting it to. It's a really good effort though. It's a really, really nice tennis game. I think they, need, they, they should be commended. game here and then we'll put a poll up for this one. Zypho, like, your fault. <laughs> I think it's just a bad trap. Oh, that was going out. I should have left it. Damn it. I think it's maybe probably just a bad Spanish translation, isn't it? Damn it! Bifo, do you still have your can of drink? A fresh one. <laughs> Why do you ask, GP? Hey! Ace him! Bifo, you freaking learned French and Spanish. Problem solved! <laughs> That's a lot to ask just for a simple a few games on an AM stream. Alright, let's put a poll up in the chat then. That's good, this one. I like this one. It's just like, oh, it just falls at a few hurdles. Damn it, you come across a really impressive one. And then it's like a, and then it's just like, oh. 
just like lets itself down a couple of like really important things and that's a shame isn't it right polls polls up get voting on this one my dog is growling at the music. He can't stand it. Oh no! I think the music is quite good. Love the crab walks. Players be like that. Like there, you will scare crow kick. <laughs> Only a few of us in the chat will get and understand that one, Fenrir. But yeah, it looks like he's doing like a crab walk. Yes, yes. really feels and looks and sounds like an NES game. Yes, it does, Interlace. You're right. That's a really good um, observation. That ball really did not go where the, uh, the target thing uh, was showing. Oh, I got him there. I'm starting to like understand it a bit more now. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, bugger. Set ball. Oh, he's about to win. Too slow, Chicky Morango. Oh, he won the set there. Bugger. <laughs> I, I know, I know, no, I know, GP. I'm getting a rally on the go now. Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. We're starting to get... We're starting to get a bit of a rally on the go. I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of the game. Look at this. There you go. There you go. That's got to go out. All right. I think with a bit of practice, maybe... Maybe a bit better than I think it is. Oh, it's, it's weird. The ball doesn't quite go where you think it's gonna go, so I'm starting to anticipate it a bit better. Right. Never gonna return that. Hey, Tom. Good night, Tom. Thanks for being here tonight, dude. Yeah, I think we'll have to like um, spin on to this one. 19 votes. We'll end that poll there. Good night, Tom. Have a great weekend, mate. It's good to see you again, mate. Way too bake, says Interlace. <laughs> and having too much fun watching those feet pitter patter around like it's tap dancing. <laughs> a simulator professional to tennis. Highly ranked, 57%. I agree. I think that's about right, guys. Yeah. I agree with your voting there. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Oh, coming to like the big one. Last big one of the night. And like Pro Tennis Tour, the next game tonight, and like the penultimate game, had an Amstrad CPC release and then kind of a GX4000 version. So we'll have a quick look at the Amstrad version, just for like a few minutes, and then we'll look at the GX4000 version. God damn, it's getting late tonight. So anyway, Bridget Tournament play. No, 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 no. Anyway, next game tonight is Tennis Cup. Tennis Cup. Uh, let me... Uh... So, 
I'll only show you a little bit of this. There's not much point spending too long on this one because we've got the superior version on the GX4000 like we had with Pro Tennis Tour and stuff. Uh, let me show you the uh, box art quickly. There's the box art. Quite a nice box art, this. Mentions it's compatible with the CPC Plus. There you go. And it's from Laurie Seals. Uh, what, what year was this? Sorry. Uh, 1989. 1989, this one. Move on. Next stream, was it 20 hours of cricket on the CPC? Yeah, I don't think so, man, shovel. Um. And I think the disc has failed to load. Oh, that's surprising. Ooh. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, oh no. Oh, it sprung back to life. Okay, that's okay. Weird how it just hung there. Uh, One player. Just continue. Here we go. This is Tennis Cup. Oh my goodness, right. Uh, let me just pause a second there. Uh, I think I I am this player here. It's just a split screen view, right? So I'm this player here, but I'm also represented on the split screen there. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's like, it's like, oh no, not this. But I think I'm this player here and I'm re receiving the serve at the moment, okay? grief it's a bit laggy I think that having the split screen doesn't help matters I, I just spooned it out so right just to just to reiterate I am this person here and I am also uh, this person here okay but I am here and I am also here, okay? Oh, game. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I am now serving. I am now the server. Is this a C64 port? No. I think this originated on the Amstrad, weirdly, because it's Laurie Seals, a French, a French game. Probably Atari ST version. Probably maybe Atari ST first, and then Amstrad. I was born to play cricket, that's why the bowler has to knock down the wicket. <laughs> Good lord. I love these skill schemes so much. Commodore throwback. Oh man. It doesn't half jump around the screen. The sprite doesn't really smooth, smoothly move around. It just goes... Duh, 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 duh. Not great. The animation isn't maybe too bad. It's just cutting out quite a, ch a few chunks of frames, though. There's probably not a bad tennis game lurking underneath this, but it's just too choppy. And I think game going for the split screen is a nice idea. If you want, uh, especially if you're looking for a game, a tennis game for two players to make it fair for two players. Because often like, the problem with Pro Tennis Tour, when you're playing with two players on Pro Tennis Tour, like the player in control of the tennis player at the top of the screen, if you've got that, per if you've got that perspective that's like that, the player at the top of the screen controlling that player there, the tiny one, is at the disadvantage. Right? 
So this solves a problem. Having the split screen solves a problem. But unfortunately, the frame rate takes an absolute nosedive. <laughs> Brown Town. Uh, must be confusing in two player. Well, it, it does solve that problem, though. Once you work out, I, I'm the one at the top, right? And you're the you're the one you're looking at the bottom half of the screen. No problem then. Uh, cross eye tennis simulator. With the baseball dog I am, I really get a kick out of cricket and rounders. You'd get you'd get bored of cricket after about ten minutes, probably, uh, man shovel. <laughs> I guess. I, I I only ever played cricket a few times at school. I I, I got bored of it. <laughs> uh, rounders was fun though. Basically baseball. Horrible colours. Um, can I quit? I can. Um, change it to hard court. Is that better? Hard court looks better, doesn't it? It's just like, it's just like grey now. That actually looks much nicer than the grass. Why do they choose that horrible colour scheme for grass? The grey actually looks a lot nicer, but it's just grey. Yeah. Anyway, let's put a poll in the chat for this one. It's not going to go down well. Not going to go down well, I think. I don't think it's a completely terrible. I don't think this is completely terrible. It's okay. It's, it's all right. But not the, definitely not the worst. It's definitely not great, is it? Right, polls in the chat. Go on then. Vote on this one then. Cricket is very middle class. Zypho is working class. <laughs> Somewhere in between the two, I'd say, probably. <laughs> OSG's posh, so he likes cricket. Oh, God, he'd slap you for that if you were still here. <laughs> You watch the T20 matches on YouTube, good stuff. Oh, is that what it's called? I didn't know what you meant by T20 earlier. I don't know what that means, actually. Uh, Uncle Ron says, the worst thing is Wimbledon. All the people cheering on the English players is, uh, as if they love the sport, but ask them how Cameron Norrie did in his previous tournament. They'd have no clue. I know. That is kind of true. He's, he's, about, he's about as English as bloody... Um, i trying to think of a very un-English un thing. I was trying to remember that. Oh, God. Who was that? We talked about him earlier. That guy that used to play uh, alongside Tim Henman. Greg Rosetsky. He's about as English as Greg Rosetsky. Like Cameron Norrie, bless him. Born in South Africa. Moved to New Zealand. Went to school in Texas. <laughs> but his mum and dad. I think his, his dad's Scottish and his mum's Welsh or something. Anyway, but like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, if Cypher were working class, he'd be a Sheffield United fan. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> what? Uh, what's the score so far for this one? 16 votes. I'm going to win the poll there because I need to move on. I think that's roughly what that one's going to score anyway. Um. Yeah, playing with a busted racket, pretty much for tennis cup, because a better version is to come, ladies and gentlemen. A much better version is to come. So we just get our six plus version up here. Let's get our GX four thousand back out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, tennis Cup 2 label and we could bring up Tennis Cup 2 on the GX4000 the sequel <clears throat> hang on uh, uh. right okay Tennis Cup 2
Let's see how much better this one is. Oh yes! If you want to play this on emulation, there's a problem with this. I need to clean my glasses. For some weird reason, um, they l <laughs> the game requires you to plug your uh, joystick in port two on the GX4000 or on your Plus machine rather than joystick port one. It's the only game that wants you to do that. The control. Um, the player one and unfortunately there's no emulator that emulates that however there is a way around that player two controls are actually mapped to keyboard prompts um, so the way around that is um, player two controls like uh, basically left is R on the keyboard for player two right is T up is the number six, down is the number five, fire button one is G, and fire button two is F. So what I've had to do for this, so that I can play it tonight, is use a program called um, uh, Joy, to, uh, Joy to Key. Or at least I thought I did, hang on. Yeah, use a program called Joy to Key to map those keys to my joystick. And that it should work for this. Right, there we go. Yeah. You're confused. Right, okay. So, um, just, to, just to reiterate, this game requires you to plug in your joystick in the GX4000 into the port, second joystick port. The GX4000 has two joystick ports. Right. It's the only GX4000 game that requires it. You got your GX has two joystick ports, right? Port one, port two. Weirdly, this is the only game that requires it. You need once it in port two rather than in port one, right? <laughs> okay. Um, otherwise, you can't control your player in the game. But how the Amstrad did how how the Amstrad did it? It maps. Um, it actually um, player player two's keys are actually mapped to keyboard prompts. Oh, let me just... I, 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 come off that, it's on demo mode. So, the actually player two, player two's controls are actually mapped to a keyboard, automatically in the console. It's mapped to like RT65, as well, down left, right. Okay? So I can use a program on my uh, computer to map that. Come on, off, 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 off. It's on a demo bloody mode. As you can see, guys, it's looking much better already. And what you can do here is you can turn the split screen uh, off. Turn it to a single screen. Awesome. And this is the only game as well that allows a, an analog joystick. I, sh I, I, I am not joking. I'll show you. you ladies and gentlemen are the lucky owner of an Amstrad AJ5 analog joystick this is the only <laughs> yeah there you go it's got the Amstrad logo there I'm not kidding this is an analog joystick this is the only ever Amstrad 8-bit game that will work with an analog joystick and I am not joking and if you look on the console you have an analog port on the front and you can plug this into the analog port right and select analog Whoa! I dropped the joystick there that the analog controls there on there and you can play with an analog stick on tennis cup 2 and it works uh, if you're a patron, a uh, member of the Am Squad, I've done a full video on this showing you this working. You have a look for my Patreon posts uh, earlier last year. Uh, I did a full video on Telescope 2 
playing this with an analog joystick. This joystick plugged in there with Tennis Cup 2. It's working. <laughs> That's the kind of content the Am Squad gets on Patreon. So, yeah. So have a look through. I can't remember what month I did that. I did that last year. Probably end of last year, that post. So, yeah. I got one of them too, but mine is the Boda version. Same stick, but branded differently. <laughs> you got one too. I might have to get an Amstrad PC at one at one day and, and uh, try it out. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really help much of the game, though. So we'll have medium speed, single screen... One player, there we go. Uh, and you can actually change your stats if you want. Serve doesn't matter, put your, put your forehand up. You've got some credits to spend, put the backhand up, 60%. Uh, that'll do. You can actually change the stats in your player. Uh, singles ex ex exhibition. That's your opponent. Pick the guy from Mexico. I think he's like the weakest one or something like that. Um, we're gonna play on the grass court. Oh yeah, you get the national anthems now. Hey, Mad Commodore. How you doing? Analog joystick for many arcade uh, game rarely results in a happy gaming session. Many BBC gamers know. Oh dear. And off we go. Doesn't that look tons better? But we still got the choppy sprite movement, unfortunately, haven't we, boys and girls? Kind of the sprite jumps about still. They didn't solve that though. That is that is a shame. However, we've got not a bad tennis game. And it looks quite nice. Move something off my screen here. There we go. So you can have split screen uh, if you want to. much better on a single screen at least on the jigs 4000 it gives you the option of turning this split screen off and having the full screen here oh dear i lost a diego the uh, mexican <laughs> tortazoed oh well um are the keys of the keyboard we can use as a workaround no you have to use the joystick because it's gs it's a gx 4000 uh console game essentially matt um, so, yeah. Are, are we out of luck to play this on the Play 2 CPC uh, on an Amstrad CPC 4? Well, it's a, it's a console release, so um, let me show you this. So this was an official cartridge console release, Matt, for the GX4000 console. So it's designed to be plugged in with a joystick, a plugged, you know, plugged into the console with the console was like joystick only or which got it controller pad only so you'll need a gx4000 uh or a 464 plus or a 6128 plus i'm afraid matt for this one same for that pro tennis tour we saw earlier i'm afraid there's the box art and there's the cart in it all its glory <laughs> excuse me pardon me So yeah, they're jumping a few frames here, moving the sprites around to get it moving fast around the screen, which is a bit of a shame. How's the serving? Right, I'm serving now. Yeah, you don't have much control over your serve. It's like Pro Tennis Tour. I think it's going to be really hard to try and do any kind of aces. Tried to do a lob there. He did kind of do a little bit more of a higher ball there when I 
I did fire and back on the joystick, and it sort of lobbed the ball a little bit. It's okay. I mean, it looks gorgeous, just like from like. Uh... I mean, if you just look at it now, you think, "Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice." But when the sprite's running about the screen, it's like, uh, it's not moving about smoothly. It's going, duh, uh, 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 uh. You know? Ah. Uh, Lorry seals. <laughs> Had a few bites of the cherry there on that serve. Wow. A tennis player has a nice derriere. Man shovel. Wow. <laughs> um, these four players are incredible with a C4 CPC. Oh, yeah. It's a shame that like, it's so slow um, being able to produce them at the moment. Because anyone new coming into the Amstrad, I, my recommendation was always like, buy a GX4000, buy a C4 CPC. You've got yourself a mini Amstrad. Right, there and then. What a great piece of kit. But now, unfortunately, production of the C4 CPC has slowed down. It's like, ah. And as, you can, as, and as uh, Craig is saying there, you could do now mods in the GX4000 to give it 128k of memory. And then you've got like a super mini Amstrad. Holy crap, I've seen the time. We've got one more little game to do after the Tennis Cup 2. And then that'll do for the Tennis Games. Oh, no! Fail there. It's nuts how little games are released for the GX4000, about, you know, about 25-ish games. And out of the 25 games, we get two bloody Tennis Games. <laughs> So there we go. Tennis Cup 2. What I'm going to do is set the pole up for this one. Uh, it's a funny one, this one. I wonder how the pole is going to go on this one. Unfortunately, Tennis Cup 2 is quite limited. You don't. You, it's limited in the number of shots you can do. You can't really do decent lobs. No, there's no such thing as top spin. You can sort of direct your shots a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, but you, it's a bit limited. Serves are a bit limited. You can't really get like sort of aces and all that kind of stuff. You can't really do drop shots very well. Um, but it does look gorgeous. It's really nicely presented. Uh, I like the I like the ability that you have the split screen is good for two players that is really really good for two players probably the best two player tennis game on the Amstrad um, right let me get the poll options here uh, and we'll get the poll going Right, there we go. Pole is up for this one. The Jigsaw War is a problem for me because unlike the C4, CPC 44, there's no monitor. It's meant to be played on a PAL television. Uh, not NTSC. Uh, there may be a solution for that. I wouldn't know. Um... But um, what I do is, I mean, I play mine with my uh, plus monitor, the CM14. I just plug mine straight into that. Um, but like, I know people have been playing. Uh, 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 I know if you, uh, I got American, I got an American friend who plays his on a, a, a CRT monitor. There must be solutions out there for it. I'll have to ask him. Craig says the same thing there, compatible with the CM14 plus monitor. Yep, yep. 
Uh, I really enjoy. Uh, Matt Comer says really did enjoy playing pro tennis tournament Amiga back in the day. It's a bit limited to the GX four thousand as well. Hey, Brian O'Higgins. Hello, matey. How are you doing? <laughs> Just back for the pub. How's your Fridays going? We're doing all right, mate. We're doing all right. Uh... <laughs> Funky GP. <laughs> um... Um... GP. Um just reading GP's comment there. Um okay. Look at Ron and Craig are both a great solutions I Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Um Right. Nobody nobody doesn't look like nineteen nineties Michelle Pfeiffer is allowed to wake up next to me. Fair enough. I I see we liked her as the catwoman in Batman Returns, Mad Commodore. <laughs> And that's where GP's mind went as well there, the cat suit. I thought so. Okay. Wow. Actually, quite a few people voted Wimbledon champion worthy. But let's have a few more votes, this one. Only 13 votes so far. Let's have a few more votes in for Tennis Cup 2. Uh-oh. Screw my serve up there. To make it a fair poll. This is going to be judged uh, because we will be making a video on uh, on the uh, rankings of the games based on your votes. Let's get at least, come on, 15, 15 votes at least. So come on you lazy gits, get your votes in for Tennis Cup 2. Pretty much the last game of the night. We've got one more little game to go, which I, I, I think is a not very good little game. It's also quite tough to win. We've not had much of a rally here either. Oh, 14 votes. Come on. <laughs> We're not getting much of a rally game over our opponent here. I think we're ended up having better rallies on the Pro Tennis Tour GX4000 game. Maybe a bit of a rally going now. Viper over Zypho, tut tut. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Julie Newmar, best catwoman ever. Yeah, she's not bad, man, Cheryl. Not bad. 1960s one, right? Yeah. Oh, man, I screwed up my serve again. Hold on, 15 votes. Wow, Wimbledon champion worthy. Highly ranked, oh, 40%. Highly ranked, 33%. Guys, kind of like this one. Though there is a vote for ponging like an old Pong console, this one. <gasps> no, double fault. Oh, no, not quite. Holy. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, drove back to juice there. Obey the cow god. Isn't that a green jelly song, Brian? Oops. All we up to. Any more votes? 16 votes? God damn it, juice again. 
Green Jello. I know them as Green Jelly in the UK because they had to change their name. We never called it Jello in the UK anyway. It's always Jelly. I've noticed you also had trouble working out how to do trick shots in Tennis 3D Pro Tennis. Tennis 3D Pro Tennis. Oh, you, you went back, you looked back out over the stream, did you? Hang on, Tennis 3D Pro Tennis. Uh, oh, the Lorry Seals one. I couldn't really, there wasn't really much shots you could do in that. I found. If there's a if there's a hidden control scheme in that, fair enough. Oh, right. I think I'll end the poll there. Then I don't think we're gonna get any more votes coming in there. Green, yellow. Yes, I know. Uh, Lucas says, I bet you don't want to play another tennis game for a while after the night, man. I don't know. I kind of want to play. I kind of want to play more um, of that Emilio Sanchez Vicario one. I thought that was a really freaking good game, even if the chat didn't agree with me as much as I thought. And um, passing shot, I thought it was actually quite decent. Again, no one agreed with me. The tennis cup two, Wimbledon champion worthy, thirty-seven percent. Oh, uh, oh! It was a oh, tying alongside highly ranked thirty-seven percent. There you go. Do you know what? I am not. I am not on tennis game now. Actually, Lucas. Actually, not too bad. Actually, these are these have been pretty cool tonight. Okay, guys. Uh, we are moving on to the final game of the night. I've gone. I've gone massively over, and Mrs. Zypher is going to freaking kill me get very grumpy of me about this but um anyway last game of the night okay and this one's quite an obscure one we don't know yeah this had a commercial release this one is called tie break and it's from france now this is called tie break Okay, uh, find the box up for this as well. Yeah, that doesn't look hopeful, does it? <laughs> Bloody hell, what was that? <laughs> Had some sampled speech there. But that was Sprites present tie break. I'll show you the box art. There you go. That's the box art there. The French game. There you go. <laughs> Lovely box art there. <laughs> what year is this from? This is from 1985. There you go. So quite an early game. They judge it too harshly. The <laughs> die break. <laughs> That's right. Um, what's the chat saying there? Man, should we got you to do green jelly? Brian, do you not remember green jelly? Then we'll... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the sample speech came up. Do you not remember green jelly? They were massive in the UK in like the, what, about 92, 93? They had like near, like, oh, they had top five hits of like three little pigs, anarchy and bedrock and all sorts. They were like on top of the pops and all that for a while. Anyway. <laughs> I loved them as a kid. Anyway, fair dues makes us Lucas. I do like a good tennis game myself. Virtual Tennis 4, that's a good one. Oh, I've had lots of good stuff about the virtual tennis games. Um, but uh, I was playing that one a lot on the Xbox that Johnny was talking about. Was it Top Spin? Yeah. Right. Uh, compatible with the joystick. Space, poor jaw. Okay, let's go. See one jaw, Amstrad never one automatic. 
So I think we want to see, don't we? Uh, uh, oh god, what's uh, I think this is like Terra Batu Clay, that's clay. To Gazon, is that grass? We want grass, don't we? Synthetic is synthetic, so we want grass. Oh my days, that's bright. Alright, I'm the yellow guy at the bottom there. Wow. 3295A5, that was impressive. Are, are you impressed now? Are you still impressed, Craig? Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Reminds me of like Match Point and that Laurie Seals 3D tennis game or professional tennis. And it's about the same level as that, basically. Honestly, it's like almost like plays identical, just doesn't look as good. If I didn't know, if I didn't know. I think like they ripped it off. Man, that is garishly bright. Oh, I loved him. Ah. Just to do the same thing I was doing in that uh, Laurie Seals like uh, 3D tennis game. Just like hold down the fire button. All I need to do is just hold down the fire button down and just move my player in the way of the ball. And so I'll just stand at the net, basically. That's it. Oh! <laughs> Although I did cut that up there. So in terms of gameplay, it's at the same level as 3D Tennis, or what's that called? Professional Tennis in the UK release. Uh, it just doesn't look as nice, and it's got garish colours. Wow. And we're talking about black pudding, are we, in the chat? Good luck. Other players are wearing flip-flops. <laughs> yes, Craig. Yes. Flip-flop tennis. With hollow tennis rackets. Oh my god! The computer played actually a good shot there. And for some reason I was unable to hit the ball there. Right. Should we vote on flip-flop tennis? Oh, computer serving. Hang on. You know, it's all right for 1985. It's fun enough. Oh, he beat me. Fair and square there. Right, okay. So, tie break. Let's set up a poll for this one. Okay. Right, and then uh, this is the last game of the night. Bracket and plugging like an old pong console. 
Right, last game of the night. There you go. Get your votes in then. Um... Uh, reading about the black pudding, white white pudding thing as well. Good lord! I didn't know about the white pudding thing. Bloody hell! What? I didn't know white pudding was a thing. Are you serious? White pudding. White pudding, or oatmeal pudding, or in Scotland, mealy pudding, is a meat dish popular in Ireland, Scotland, Northumbria, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland. White pudding is broadly similar to black pudding, but does not include blood. I know the chat's in the way. Hang on. Modern recipes consist of suet or fat, oatmeal or barley, breadcrumbs, and in some cases pork and pork liver, poured into a natural or cellulose sausage casing. Recipes in previous centuries include a wider range of ingredients. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, there you go. You and your bloody white puddings, black puddings. All right. Anyway, get your votes in for um, tie break. <laughs> uh, someone voted highly ranked for this one. But mostly ponging like an old pong console. Oh dear. The chat is not liking this one. I don't think this is too bad. Joyce, I don't think we've had really that bad a... I don't think we've had too bad at games tonight really it's only really lawn tennis that's really stunk tonight i thought but you can have a relative amount of fun it's just like it's really garish this one oh god oh sorry guys white pudding is white dog poo no it is not I trust in Wikipedia on this one, not you, Retro and Limb. We haven't seen white dog poo since the 80s. It doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it's not Welsh rare bit either. Poor old flip flop tennis. Any more votes? 40 votes. Go on, one more vote. Let's get it up to 15 votes. Lazy buggers. <laughs> the white dog poo. Those were the days. Those were the days. Reminiscing about white dog poo. <laughs> what the fuck is rare bit? Welsh rare bit is really nice. It's like a, it's like a kind of cheese on toast kind of thing, but you make it with mustard. I used to make it years ago. You need, you need like butter, a mustard, flour, I think, milk. And he's sort of like, there's a way of making it right. And you mix it all together into like a nice sort of like creamy, white, fluffy kind of stuff. Um, it's kind of like a cheesy, mustardy, spicy kind of thing. And you sort of, sort of spread it on like, you could do it on toast. Or like a, like a crunchy bread. Really nice. When, it, when it's done really nice and proper... Yeah, it's nice. Ooh. Mm. Don't listen to anyone else that says it's anything different. Like, it's something disgusting. Yeah, yeah. 
kind of what Craig says. But I mean, you can you can make it really posh and add other bits, do it and stuff like that. It's like posh cheese on toast, basically. I had a really, really good recipe for it. I used to make really good Welsh rare bit. I haven't done it in donkey's ears though. But like, I think I did it with like, like yeah, lot, you need a lot of butter, a bit of flour. I think I did it with flour and milk and mustard and, che and cheese. I don't know if I needed, I don't think I need egg. I, I don't know if I needed egg or not. But, um... I can't remember needing egg for it. Yeah. Oh, you got me thinking about Welsh, Welsh rarebit now. I might make it for the missus. Oh. This is like women's own magazine, these re re recipes. <laughs> Good grief. Alright. Right, let's end the poll there. Still on 14 votes, you lazy boggers. I only wanted one more vote. <laughs> Alright. We're in, the, in that poll there. I can't look at that one anymore. Can I quit out the game? It won't let me quit out the game. I wanted to go back to the menu and not look at the green screen and just have like a different one. Go on clay and see if the clay was any nicer to look at. But screw that. It won't let me quit out. It is 3am. I know. We need to end there. So tie break there. Playing with a busted racket. 42%. Ponging like an old Pong console. 42% as well. Tie in there. Oof. Poor old tie break there from Sprite. Well, thank you guys. I've got all the data I need now to formulate my um, um, tennis games video um, on the Amstrad for the uh, for the Amstrad. For the uh, I'll be making a video ranking all the tennis games from best to worst. I've got the data the need. I will try and um, evaluate that. Obviously, as we got later on, there's less and less votes coming in for the games. So I use partly my judgment as well, along with your day, along with the votes there. So, um, but thank you guys. That's awesome. We'll probably, I don't know, we'll probably see this video next year around about the same time this next year. This this video. But thank you guys. But your um, voting and stuff is like, you know, you've made that you your you you have, you have been part of creating that video. So thank you. Well done. Um, after party, you may use our Discord, the chat rooms there, like vo live voice chat rooms. Please feel free to use them. A little after party, go for it, use them, or just chat in the general chat, text chat, whatever you want to do, guys, go for it. But yeah, I'm going to have to call it there, guys. I'm going to shoot over to my outro. As a late one tonight, I'm sorry, I'm going to get in trouble. This is now. Thank you, everyone, uh, for tuning in tonight, guys. Thank you. It's been a nice, chilled, fun stream tonight. Um, right, what have I got to say? Have I got anything to add or say to, uh, to you all? Well, um, mm, no, I don't think so. Any, anything specific. Um, I was going to say what's going to think of thing next week on the AM stream. Um, I do have a new answer game to check out. We need to do that soon as well. Um, no, I'm gonna keep my cards close to my chest. I've got an idea for a cool, cool thing to do. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys uh, and girls. It's been fun tonight, and thank you as well for all the uh, <laughs> silliness and fun little dono and fun donos as well. We've had, some, we've had some Cliff Richard silliness as well tonight. Um, I wish I could do a raid on YouTube. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, but it said, go and feel free to use the voice chat channels or just the general chat for a little after party if you want to. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, let's see who we've got to thank tonight. So thank you, Uncle Ron, for popping in. Uh, thank you, uh, Man Shovel, as always, dude. 
Thank you, Mr. Matt Myers. Uh, Craig Harrison, thank you. Uh, dude, nice to see you here again, as always, mate. Cheers, Retro and Liam. Um, <laughs> what Cheers, Steve. Cheers, mate. Um, thank you. Thank you, Cheeky GP. Uh, lost of love, mate. You always put a smile on my face. That, and thank you, man. You put a smile on everyone's face, GP. Never change. <laughs> um, Lucas, take care, Lucas. Take care, man. Have a great weekend, man. Thank you, dude. Nightwolf Games, take care, mate, as well. Zidulan, thank you again for last night, mate. Cheers, dude. Take care, mate. Matt Myers, as well. Thank you, man, for being here, as always. Um, thank you, Matt. Says great stream. Thank you. Maud, lost love, Maud. Thank you, mate. T cheers, dude. <laughs> thank you, sneaky Maud. Um... And uh, yes, uh, don't forget bug stream tomorrow at 10 p.m. Well, anything else to mention? Um, I think so, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the jailbreak video that went live uh, on Wednesday. My latest long playing review. A lot of work went into that one, and that's proving quite popular at the moment. So I'm glad to see that it's doing quite well. Um, I had a little chat with the coder of that one as well, so uh, that's cool. Um, have I got anything else to mention? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, guys, yeah, feel free to use the Discord, um, the after party. There's anyone in there at the moment. Oh, Craig's Bars posted a nice picture there in the Discord of Welsh Rare Bit. Right. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Craig's Bars waiting in the voice chat channels. Um, if anybody wants an after party, go for it. Craig's waiting there. <laughs> and uh, hopefully I'll see you all around this weekend. I should be back streaming on Twitch on Monday. And um, I'll be cracking on with like, videos and stuff as well. So, uh, okay, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. And I shall see you all again very, very soon. Take care. Good night. And uh, see you all again very, very soon. All right. Cheers. Bye! <laughs>